We got our own clicker. How you guys <laughs> feel about uh, random boners? Strong clicker. What was the last weird boner you had? <laughs> right now. Okay, welcome to Lucky Lucky Podcast, episode 59. 59. 59. We are here with no application fee. Hey, what's hey. up? That's your boys. Hello. Let's go around the table for introductions, man. Uh, my name is Snell, and uh, I play drums for no application fee. Awesome. Do we clap? <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Hi, Snell. <laughs> he plays drums. I, I think a, you next. I've got a problem. And I am Chris. Oh yeah, he said he did say that earlier. I guess. Because <laughs> and, I, and I play the electronic skin flute for oh, Lock Liga podcast. Yeah, yeah. Electronically. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, my name is Gil, and I like to party. Nice. <laughs> and I also play guitar in no application fee. Awesome. Yes, oh, nice. My name is DJ Mino, and I travel with Dufesa. <laughs> <laughs> you kept a straight face. Uh, and I'm Andy G, and I play bass in the band. So no. who sings? Uh, Gil and I attempt to. We share it. Like, you sh- we you share, share a lot of stuff. You share vocal duties? Yeah, yeah. We never let we never let him give us two mics though. We always use one. Nice. <laughs> you know. So you do that like that poison, like kind of like real close together, <laughs> yeah, like you're yeah, almost yeah, making yeah. out, but you're you know you're. Singing. Oh, sometimes there's tongue. And I'm Rick. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. And there's Rick. I was trying to get your attention. I'm like. <laughs> no, no, no. I was just being a dick. I, I saw you. I was like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's all good. So tell us a little bit about yourself. What do you guys like to do? Well, like I said, I like to party. <laughs> you like to party? What kind of party? Like uh, naked party? In my pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I, I don't know. You no. know what? I guess like like everyone here, we have, oh, shit, we got to work a lot, bro. Uh, then when like, we catch each other, we're like, fuck it, let's have a beer. You go hard and shit, like eh, then, one beer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know how that goes. You know? You're oh, like, yeah. hey, one more. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, one more. One turns into ten. Quick, dude, it's man. three in the morning. Quick, bro. <laughs> During the morning, that's early, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go get some more beer? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so how long have you guys been around for? Well, I was born in 1993. <laughs> 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 no. Uh, Gil and I have been jamming together since, uh, oh, f- f- five. I guess technically, oh, seven. End of oh, seven was when, like, an application fee, really. Nice, man. It's because we and met we, in the middle school band. That's why you said 05. Oh, really? Yeah, that's okay. where we started. Our huh. I didn't want to say that because it was kind of gay, but <laughs> he's not wrong. Like we met on the playground. Yeah. <laughs> we were he like, fell off the slide and I was like, hey, are you okay? We are like, I'll, I'll trade you my sandwich for your burrito. <laughs> <laughs> our accents have gotten better. Oh, as you can tell. Yeah. So on the playground is where you spend most of your days? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> when he fell off the slide, did he go, ay? And you're like, wow, you hit a <laughs> nice note there. A dog you want to see? I see. <laughs> no, but yeah. Middle but you school, also you, school, high you were all homies at school and shit, and that's how you got together with the band, right? Shit, no, we met Snail a little later. He's a okay. He's a little older than us. He was our babysitter. He, <laughs> he looks a lot <laughs> older. He looks like he bought you guys beer, <laughs> he, bro. He, <laughs> he never did. Actually, he never did. He he didn't. No. When we went to his house, he might. I have. provided the place for. The he had beer. shit. He didn't <laughs> buy no beer. That yeah, was a question. He, he didn't even say hi to us. To be honest, <laughs> he was like, "Like you're waiting outside the liquor store for him, or what?" We're like, "Hey, Mister." <laughs> That's how you met him. Mister's my dad. We need somebody to buy beer and play drums. You, do you fit the criteria? <laughs> did they tell you they forgot their ID at home? Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. Oh. No, hey, yeah, he's a, he's a brilliant drummer, by the way. When I saw you guys live, thanks, man. I was impressed, bro, by all of you guys, actually. Thanks, I was bro. like, dang, these three dudes sound like five, six fools. I swear yeah. to God. Thank you, That's what I was thinking, I was dude. When I heard like, you guys, I'm like, dude, it's yeah. a big band. Oh, where? And then when he said it's only three, I'm like, oh, yeah. shit, really? That's, <laughs> probably, yeah. that's probably the goal of every three piece. Anything is yeah. to fill it up with just the three of you. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of drums are you playing, man? Uh, I'm on a Gretsch drum set right now. Sound like nice, Bukaki, right there. I love that thing, man. Oh, yeah. The Gretsches are fucking. Sound like two in the. They're very distinct. <laughs> They're very <laughs> loud. <laughs> it's a very loud drum. No, I, just, uh, I guess uh, that's how you tune it, man. It, it depends. Like, I do try and, since it is a three piece, I try and put a lot of um, resonance into the drum head mm-hmm. uh, just to fill up that sound. Because if you just have something that's flat, that's only going to get to the few first people in the crowd. Yeah, it's going to go and, nowhere. And not really get to the back. And learning all that from Snail really makes me notice that now in other drummers. Huh. I, I like hear drummers' sets, and I'll immediately, Snail and I will just look at each other like, 
Uh, like super <laughs> gentlemental, like you hear that shit. Like, we approve. He hasn't tuned that shit in ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You fucking get yourself a hundred dollar tune bot. Spend some time with it, and you will. See or it. hey, actually, go on our Instagram and you can DM Snail. He will go to your house. Yeah, there you go. Tune your drum set. Oh no shit. Any other uh, that's, that's dope. pleasures oh, yeah. you need? <laughs> <laughs> Got you guys. In contrary to property, I can vouch for that. <laughs> so he'll give you a tune up. I'll give you <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There actually is an application fee for right that. There. there is. There will be an application fee for that. Actually, <laughs> contrary to popular belief, like you said, satisfaction. Guarantee. So what's your axe? What do you play? I mean, I'm uh, bass. Bass, but Dude, what kind ah, of? You know what? I've had this same Mexican Fender ah. for. As long as I can remember, I got my first bass when I was 14, and it was a little squire that um, we needed a bass to play this quinceanera uh. we were going to play at. And uh, the mom was, you know, she did well for herself. And then she had told us, like, oh, we'll pay you guys, blah, blah, blah. So we're like, fuck yeah. Kind of asked for an upfront. Uh. Okay, can we get, <laughs> we're like, can we get 200 for a bass? And her mom was like, fuck yeah, dude. Boom, bought me my first nice. bass. Dude. Nice. And I used that till I was 17. And one day I walked into a guitar center in El Paso. Uh-huh. And I just... I just saw it. Saw oh, it. it was Paso, used. Texas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that where you used to stay out there? Uh, we we're actually born and raised over there. Oh, no shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Snow oh, was born right. in Dallas, but yeah, we yeah. all met in El Paso. Oh, shit. And you guys traveled all, we had, all together? Yeah, me and you were 19. We loaded up the van with the $300 we had. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we came over Sick. here. That's a dope story. Well, well, so you, you guys, guys came here? all the way over here to from El Paso and just to be on the podcast. Hell yeah. Dude, we did. I was like, we waited six years for this podcast. Stay able to tell off. the future, dude. <laughs> We're gonna be there. What made you guys come here? Um, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> nah, nah, you're right. The party. Some you're bitches. Just, we were kids, bro. Like, nah, yeah. We was, always wanted to be. Wet. I was actually gonna say dicks, but yeah, was, we were just kids. We were like, let's go to California, dude. But yeah. We said that shit when we were like 12, and then Damn. 13 we stuck to it. 14 we kept saying it. 15, 16, you know, 17, 18. I'll tell you 19. what it was. We said this shit when we were 12, and then we saw Scarface, and he said, "All I have is my word." And my balls, oh, and we shit. were like, hey, we got to keep our word, dude. We gotta move <laughs> yeah. I'm not breaking that shit. And like, I lost my balls fuck. already, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got to sure keep, keep my word, dog. Keep my word, man. Keep your balls, man. That's I got to get my balls part. back from my ex-chick. <laughs> They're in her get purse, Get your balls back. She did keep those. <laughs> <laughs> I became such a... Nah, I just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what, what part of, like, El Paso did you guys grow up? The east side. East side. East side, hell yeah. Not close to the border there? No, not too close. I mean, I guess everything's close to the border. Dude, I went there, and I was amazed by the strip bars. You could bring your own beer. Bro, I don't know if you oh, know this. But yeah, there's a few of them out yeah. in the state like that. Yep. I don't know if you heard this, but we were never 21. Yeah, I know. <laughs> no, but you, you got to see the signs, though, BYOB. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Jaguars, Jaguars was BYOB. Word? Right off the I guess lake. I never paid you attention to those. Gateway. Like, <laughs> you guys are worried about where I hear the strip bars are like 18 and up. Jeez. Some yeah, they are. I went to my first strip club recently. Oh, shit. It was okay. <laughs> it was okay. It was okay. It was. Wait, wait, wait. You, you gotta go to which one was it? Which one was it? We went to Deja Vu in Torrance. Oh shit! Ooh, that's ah, right. that just closed down now. Bro. Oh, where? That's Is why it? it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> there was rats. Nah, Those you guys gotta problem. go to Nicolas. Nicolas. And East LA, dude. Damn! Did you say you're gonna take us to a strip club and pay for it? <laughs> go. That's love. Thank you. All you need Black some Mika. fucking white powder there, dude. Are you gonna ask? Good to go. If you ask him again, he probably talcum will. powder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like for my balls. <laughs> Make sure I have Don't get me balls, started man. on powder. I, I have some talco if you need it. <laughs> <laughs> Anthrax. No. What's up, bro? That oh, was my cousin, you guys. Yeah, What's up, primo? primo? He's gonna be listening. It's like fuck. That's when I walked in. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. His grand entrance. Yeah, no, fucking Nicolas is where dreams happen, man. And, wow. and, and, and die. And syphilis. <laughs> I, heard, I heard chlamydia's in the air right now. Yep. <laughs> they, they'd be clapping over there, yes. <laughs> is that where you're coughing? <laughs> be cool, baby. Chlam- chlamydia strips on Tuesdays, not on Mondays. Uh, so. That would be the greatest I think that was stripper name ever. <laughs> chlamydia. chlamydia. Next up to the stage. <laughs> Next up to the pleasure. stage. Chlamydia the on flexible. Satellite One. Oh, shit. Satellite One. Chlamydia. Oh. Yeah. First name like, Clam, last name Idiot. <laughs> You're too close, fool. Too close? Yeah. Oh, Trying to get chlamydia from the fucking mic, dick? <laughs> yeah. Back up. I heard that chlamydia was on this mic. Back, he was going to fucking deep throat that up. shit. Oh. You see him? He's like stretching out a fucking vocal, right vocal here, cords. Vocal. <laughs> <laughs> That's you when know, he starts I've, smacking. I've met people that don't like deep throat. <laughs> I'm not joking. Like, I mean, <laughs> there was a second of it silence. Blew my like, mind. Oh. <laughs> it blew my mind. We were like, he was like, nah, dog. I prefer she just like suck on the tip. No stop. Like, oh oh man, well, he doesn't get in there. Just that's some virgin shit right there. <laughs> you gotta trim them back, man. That's yeah. the problem, man. <laughs> get in there, man. Like, if you're gonna go down, you gotta go down. Yeah, no shit. I want to hear that. <laughs> 
Yeah, for me, it's not that much of a deep throat. Just the head is just enough right there, dude. So you can put your balls and your dick in your mouth. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, I piss on my balls. I mean, what can you fucking do? You know. And she can lose no wind at the same time. <laughs> You know, I thought that was you on my thigh again, bro. <laughs> hey, man, I'll be getting fresh over here. Hey, you here. know what? I just let it happen. I was like, like wait till after the podcast, dog. <laughs> I'm not going to interrupt this. scared me right now. Like, hey, <laughs> I know, me yeah, too. Yeah. Heard, he just heard just a head. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just a head. He said, okay. So let's get back to the music. What kind of oh, music bad, you guys play? Let's listen to it and you guys tell us. Something. What do you guys con- what do you guys consider that style? Fuck, dude. I think it's um kind of a little like ska it's, kind it's of like in fusion, there. right? It's a fusion yeah. of a couple of different styles. It's melodic, real, real melodic. But I dig, I dig the just the dynamics because mm-hmm. it's just like, like yeah, that first joint. And that's your Fender, dude. The the Fender bass. Mm-hmm. That's you like nice, the way man. I describe that shit? Like, <laughs> 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 oh yeah, I know exactly what you it's mean. It's a mash. Yeah, I did yeah, like yeah. the way. You Let me write that down real quick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most of the Mexican Fenders, especially the ones that were made in like from the '90s to like the 2000s, they were all American parts. They're just assembled in Mexico. Mm-hmm. No, no shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yep. Except for the sound- pickup, the pickups. Uh, the pickups are always booty, but you know, they're <laughs> yeah. like made in China. But yeah. but, but they, they sound all, really good, right? Yeah. For mm-hmm. being 
I had a five string Fender. That was a, that was a, that was a Mexican, and that mm-hmm. sounded really good. All the Mexican Fenders. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you play metal? No, I played punk. Oh yeah. Oh, I did see your Dead Kennedys pin. Yeah, I, I like the Dead Kennedys. <laughs> yeah, they're dope. Yeah. <laughs> well, the you had a on your drums. You have a China there. Uh, it's um. It sounds like a China dude. Or trash the, or what is in that? The, one? In the recording, yeah. Um, it is. Uh, what was I using? Because I wasn't using mine. I don't mm-hmm. have a China no, yeah. right now. It was um that. Was it the Sabian? The Sabian. The, I wonder if it was the Sabian. <laughs> the dildo? No, that's the Sibian. <laughs> oh, Sibian. Right. Right. Wrong one. <laughs> he should know. <laughs> nah, uh, like, you're not saying it right. <laughs> nah, I kinda, on, the, on the recording, I kind of used like a hodgepodge of, of different symbols and stuff. There was a pasty in there, a Zildjian. Did you um, stack them to stack the symbols to, to get a certain sound? You know how people do that? Oh, Oh, that's what it was. Uh, so the stack was uh, Jeez, it's a nineteen it's a nineteen inch um, minor uh, classic china with the holes in it. He's a good got you. And then uh, a ten inch uh, Zildjian splash on the oh, uh, on the oh, inside sick. of it. So I got a yeah. ten inch. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we, it splashes. We fucking know. <laughs> that's his party hey, trick. <laughs> hey, that's hey, his fucking party trick. Hey, everyone, check it out. <laughs> I think we're really trying to bring back live music, though. Yeah, I, I, I don't. I hate to say like because the recordings are dope as fuck, but like come see us live too. Yeah, yeah. it's a different dynamic. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. Honestly, we to be honest. Up. The recordings don't do you guys justice. I didn't want live. I, I was like, that, oh my it, god, it, this shit is fucking uh, tight. It was actually fuck, our first time uh, in the it. studio, and that shit was the far energy was fresh. Dude. Where'd you guys record? In El Paso. Yeah, and oh, in, uh, in our living in, our, in his room actually. Yeah, we did the vocals and some of the. All the vocals? Yeah. All the vocals at the in, house? At the house and then at a homie studio in El Paso. No shit, dude. That sounded you know, fucking tight, man. As Fuck far it. as your music style sounds, to me at least, it's, it, it has that remnants of, of like the fucking Austin scene and the El Paso scene. Oh, shit. As far as rock goes. I mean, tight. you can tell that the influences were rooted there. Nice. <clears throat> and then, now, speaking of influences, like, what do you guys draw from? Like, what's your inspiration when it comes to like other musical acts? Andy Garcia. <laughs> and that's him <laughs> <laughs> not the actor yes, not the guy. <laughs> that's Jerry Garcia <laughs> <laughs> you know what actually that they're cool no, there is Grateful, Dead, <laughs> Grateful Dead is really cool but I couldn't never get into them like I, I, can, I don't think they're cool and I could never get into them <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean I just didn't want to be rude because you know yeah, it's it's Grateful Dead. Dead. <laughs> yeah someone's gonna hear this and be like this fucking asshole you know, you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it I'm gonna say it I'm grateful that Andy Garcia is dead or Jerry, Jerry Garcia. Jerry Garcia. Oh, what the fuck? Ah, Jerry. Andy Garcia's way. brother, man. He's a fucking actor. <laughs> <laughs> but no, yeah. The no, pues sí, wey. <laughs> oh, but uh, music. I mean, we all bring a little something to the table. Yeah. Hell yeah. What kind of place are you guys like playing at? What do you mean? What kind of venues? Oh, shit. Man, I I, I, I prefer yet. bars. I don't know if that... You said prefer, right? Yeah. I prefer bars for sure, dude. Why is Wait, that? Because, man, once you... I don't know. I guess you get a little spoiled at some part where it sounds good. Uh-huh. And I know that we sound good. So mm-hmm. when you play in a backyard with a shitty PA that <laughs> oh, is man. peaking and has no fucking depth. And then There's you have to use a back line. behind you guys. Yeah. And yeah, you got to use a back line fucking uh, bass amp room. and yeah. guitar amp. And it just sounds like <laughs> shit, dude. And we're still going to work with it. But Unless I guess that's why I personally prefer like at least a venue where a nice venue we are where we can have a decent PA. What's the worst place you ever had to perform? Like the worst setup? You show up and the shit's fucked up, like uh, worst case scenario. Damn, dig. That's I, a lot of shows. Been too. a while. It's been a lot. Of, <laughs> yeah, we've been we've been doing pretty good to get decent shows now. But yeah, uh, no, but I mean, I mean, just the worst. ever. You know what I'm saying? The when you first started, first one I can think of was a, a Halloween show many many years ago before I was with uh, no application fee and uh, it was like some bonfire thing out in the desert oh shit and fucking burning man and shit dude <laughs> yeah it, not that cool though like it was fucking <laughs> freezing it, the sound instantly escaped um, it, it, was, it was bad it was bad oh, bad shit, shit. Damn. Yeah. was too like wide open or what yeah just uh, complete yeah. open in the desert so everything like, like fell flat yeah I mean the the noise was was gone as from the drum it was I mean just Instantly. And you have oh, to man. play in the freezing. De- and and it was, yeah, dude. It was, and oh, fuck that. I hate when my hands are cold. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah it, it was just pee on them. Why are we here? <laughs> <laughs> pee on them. Two pieces of advice: always carry hand warmers and bring your own shit. Yeah, hell yeah. You'll never fucking. I know. carry my shit in my ass all the yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. I don't ever leave prison it. wallet. <laughs> prison wallet. Yeah. You should see how he DJs, dude. Oh, up there morning. Oh, oh, I've seen. <laughs> Oh, I've seen. <laughs> I don't know if this one counts because the show didn't go through because it was that bad. Uh, but um, <laughs> we must have been like 16. We had just started like trying to find shows, and this guy was like, "Hey, we're gonna. We found this spot. 
by the desert. It's like this abandoned house. It's gonna be real cool. We're gonna have a bunch of people over. Uh-huh. Like we're all gonna get laid. Blah blah. The blah. promises, man. You know, we're like, yeah, let's do it for sure. And we it was the day of, and we got there, and like they had this like shitty ass generator that was supposed to power all the amps and oh, the mics and stuff. It started raining on us, uh, <laughs> and it was an abandoned what? house. And it so was like, a little no roof. Abandoned uh, house. The floors were where were they getting in? the foundation <laughs> and shit? The one, the one in the desert. The <laughs> no, this was. Uh, it was years ago. We were still in high school. Shit, we ended up dude. not playing the show and playing with uh, rockets. Good man, we're playing with firecrackers. <laughs> <laughs> After what, what? You didn't even do the show. You were like, nah, "Fuck this!" Like, just, fuck that. No, it just uh, there was no electricity. There was nobody there. Oh, either. Fuck, <laughs> dude. Nothing to do. The it generator wasn't generated. <laughs> <It> was <not laughs> in. Those always have the possibility of being badass shows, but like that, not prepared, no, no electricity, you're fucked, man. So that's why I don't know if it'll count because it never happened. I guess I guess I understand <laughs> the question now. I, but no, it does count. I just like the scenario yeah, was so yeah. bad. You're like, fuck this. You know, it was a, a shitty scenario I always think about when we first got here. <laughs> the only shows I could get us were hella like South Central house shows, oh, and yeah. the scene was a little younger than us, so they were all in high school. Yeah, not that we were much older, but. It was straight in high school, and I remember we got to this one spot, and there was no light, basically, in the backyard. It was the first time I saw everyone sucking on the fucking balloons. No shit, dude. I was like, what oh, the, the fuck is yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> You know, the old El Paso kid, like, hey, I'm here to play a show, and we walked in, and it was like, super fucking sketchy. No shit, dude. Everyone was, like, tweaked out of their minds, and we started playing, and <clears throat> we've always had this thing where we don't really fit in anywhere with our music sound. Mm. So, like, we'll go to a rock show, and we're not rock enough. We go to a hip-hop show, we're yeah. hip-hop enough. We go to a ska show, and we're not ska enough. <laughs> So we thought, you know, like like small town kids were like, when we get out of here, bro, like there's going to be other people that sound similar. We could play shows. Yeah. We got here and then it was like, dude, you guys aren't fucking from here, are you? So nevertheless, <laughs> we start fucking playing and like, dude, maybe four or five people fucked with it and everyone else just was, you know how it is. If they don't like mm-hmm. it, they didn't fucking like it, bro. Like they, they were like they carry on straight talking shit. No, no, no. Like they were like ready to fucking stab oh, us, fuck. bro. Like people were getting stabbed and shit. Like, no shit. The <laughs> they threw a beer bottle. Like, yeah, was, we were like, dude, we need to get the fuck out of here, dude. <laughs> we gotta get wow. the fuck out of here. So, so you gotta bring your own crew. <laughs> you gotta I'm bring a- your own crew to fucking throw beer bottles back. <laughs> yeah, right. right. The I'm thing is, stopped. we didn't know anybody here. So we, we literally moved here not knowing uh, anybody. Fuck, we ended up like, we ended up in the hood and we ended up finding shows around us and yeah. they were fun, you know, but sometimes it was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, dude, see, there's ones like that. But then there was the dope ones where like we started getting our name up over there yeah. and everyone started. You it know what we learned? You were feeling your shit. Back then, oh, I don't know if it's still cracking because we don't really play the like house show like that, but if you could run in a circle, mm-hmm. they loved you. Get them. Yeah. There was this band. Remember we played? Oh, we played this one dude. Oh, yeah, just <laughs> we like played this one dude. <laughs> <laughs> we played this one show, comma, dude. I played his toes and his <laughs> belly button. It was fucking packed dude <laughs> it was crazy packed and then the band before us the dude looked like slash like he no had shit. the haircut he wore the hat he wore the sunglasses he was impersonating like, yeah like slash. literally oh, shit. Fuck. And like <laughs> it's not halloween <laughs> 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 no, that's how he dressed and they went up there bro and they started playing just like straight you know running a circle music but i can't express mm-hmm. how out of tune their guitar oh, and man. bass was to the point where literally you're like does nobody hear this <laughs> dude Running around like a motherfucker in a circle, dude. Yeah. Like a hundred people. And me and Gil were just like confused, you know? Yeah. This sounds really bad. (laughs) And everyone really likes it. And it was to the point where when they finished, of course, you know, you got to never hate on some the way someone swings. So we went over and said, you know, you Mm -hmm. guys really got the crowd going, do your thing. But we had to be like, hey, come here, bro. Hey, dog, you should tune your guitar. (laughs) And he was like, Damn, I didn't even tune it. Before. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we know. That's what that's what knobs. He's like, to you could man. tune it. Dog? You, how do you, <laughs> is that what those knobs are for? <laughs> no, no. Or like no, the old no. shows we went to in the nineties. Fucking these guys were like hand Chris the bass to tune it for them because they couldn't fucking tune it. Yep. Damn. No yeah, shit. That's how it you got is a good ear, here, man. What? You got a good ear? No. Yeah, he's like, I've got two of them. Hey, I, you know what I want to know is what you're writing down. Hey, hey everyone, no, listen, everyone listening, this will been drawing little dicks like in super bad. He, I think it was a picture it's, of me. It's my grocery list. I'm sorry. Got two I of them. tell people. But. I'm just writing down now. He's the got, hashtag. He's got paprika. Words, uh, tag, yeah, tag. So just make a mental note so because. We write descriptions for every podcast. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, what what Chris knows is uh like he he's heard of tuning, unlike some of these other people. <laughs> yeah, man. I, I'm I'm aware of it. I heard about <laughs> he's it. He's very in tune. He was, he was just <laughs> ah ah ah. <laughs> uh, yep, there it is. <laughs> yeah, because this is in the 2000s too, right? Yeah. This happening? Fuck, man, that's crazy. Because back oh, in the that'll 90s, never stop happening. Oh, dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, more we were out, like it was worse, dude. You hear one guy to just tune the top string, and that's it. But if they didn't like you back then, you got shot. You didn't get stabbed. 
<laughs> you know what? You know what? Thank God. I what actually, happened to the band? You guys break up or did you get shot? No, I got pretty good at uh, seeing which crowds were more worse because there was two or three shows where um, it just didn't go through with us. Or I was, I, I just, they trust me to like make all the decisions of what we're booking and stuff. Uh-huh. And there was two times in particular where I remember being like, hey guys, we're not going to play this show. They're like, why? I was like, uh, I don't know. We're just not going to play it. <laughs> and I swear to God, the next day, Someone got shot at the fucking Damn, show. Dude. Damn. Yeah. You can always Twice, feel that bro. vibe. Twice, bro. Over here, you can always South feel Central. that vibe. So, man. nevertheless, it, this shit is not stopped. Yep. It's hey. the exact same, bro. <laughs> I, played a, I played a show once in, uh, what was it, the warehouse? Or was mm-hmm. it the 108 warehouse? Right here on... Um, Wilmington 108. Wilmington 108, yeah. No, uh, yeah. Wilmington, yeah Wilmington. Wilmington 108. It's the hood. And yep. uh, <laughs> somebody got beat in the head with a baseball bat while we were playing. Uh, Damn, why you're playing? Hey, did you stop? <laughs> Fuck no, I didn't stop. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, hey, I were, want you, that you, bat. were you watching though? Huh? Were you watching? Oh yeah, you were just like <laughs> the shit. guy was swinging the bat to the the fucking <laughs> oh, tone of their the music. Dude. I, after that, he started wearing helmets to every show <laughs> <laughs> because he got hit. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was a uh, well the '90s was a very violent time for South Central, but as far as music goes, it was the best time because. Mm-hmm. Those parties went on until like four in the morning because the cops never came. Mm. Oh shit! They're always going off to murder, so they never yeah. fucked with the party people. That's the best part of living really in the hood, bro. Too. They got way better shit to Straight do. Up, we, we had yeah. a we had a show in Mid City, probably like 2013, 14, and it was like one of the funnest backyard shows we ever mm-hmm. had. And it was it was popping till like four in the morning and shit. It was hanging out with some bikers yeah. and shit. Oh, the biker show! The biker show <laughs> hey, these were some scary looking. I'm not a big dude, bro. These were some <laughs> scary looking motherfuckers, and they yeah. they just. Coked out, and they would just stand there. And, and our beards didn't grow as good as they do. <laughs> I didn't have any facial. I didn't like even have ball hair yet, bro. I was only 19, 20. Yeah, that was fun. Dude. That was one of the funnest backyard shows I, I can I remember. Hope, I hope that Fall those people that would book this, book those. Uh, <laughs> the people book who would book us for those, like, hear shit like this soon. Mm-hmm. And they're like, bro, that was fucking me. I'm like, yo, reach hey, out. It could happen. It will. Yeah. It will, it will bro. It will. It wasn't a backyard show. It was a book club. <laughs> it was a book club. What about the book club? <laughs> Mm. Well, we, we got a new spot for we're gonna start throwing shows at too, man. So yeah, we just have. All right, yeah, we'll definitely let's call you guys it. for yeah, it. Yeah, let's do it. That sounds good. I was gonna ask you guys, since you're a little older than us, you were around the scene in the mm-hmm. '90s. The number one thing I've been hearing since these past two music videos came out, so like seven months, is when I think we've really started to like come yeah, up. A lot of momentum, yeah. When when people say like, "Oh, dude, you guys sound like '90s," they don't even say anything else. That's our genre. Really? To everyone, when they hear multiple songs or they come see us live. Mm-hmm. They're like, dude, you guys just got that 90s vibe. They'll it's, throw it's as true. many 90 bands yeah. as you can think out. Yeah. Like, they'll compare to someone where, like, I never even fucking listened to that band. I know who they are, but I never got into them. But since it's 90s, I guess there was, like, a feel that mm-hmm. came with it. I, I listened to it, but I wasn't there. You know what I'm saying? I was born in 93. But let me ask my, my big homies. Don't take offense to this, but I, it reminded me of kind of, like, Safe Ferris. That I type see, of I, vibe. No, I, I think really. it's, like, um, not, okay, not like it, but it has that vibe of Mother's Milk by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, okay. It has like you know, that. I can, I can, I can see, that. I can see that. Like, like that would be your that. like your neighbor. Your next door neighbor would be Mother's Milk. <laughs> you know that that's that's what kind of vibe it has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that, that's the second that, that microphone's dick. I'm swallowing this fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it kind of like a. Retrasa kind of, that way, no mames. Deep he used to talk to her like that, like. <laughs> 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 and kind of like like the. Um, like a faith no more vibe too, like not like I said, just like in the general. Yeah, yeah, genre. of course, yeah, yeah. That's the best part is when they when you ask a genre and you tell bands, yeah. you're not saying you fucking sound like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was what I was so saying. Yeah, that. yeah. I was I'm, I'm, it's not like you guys sound like these. It's kind of like this and it's like that. It's kind of like that like like '90s K like rock. Of different things, bro. Like literally, K rock. But it's crazy because they didn't hear that shit. Day. They didn't huh. even hear it. They just gets coming out of them already. You know what I mean? That's what I thought. Of my I think it traveled through the sperm and shit. Yeah, and shit. Like all the. I'm not lying for the DNA. I would have a lot of Caifanes in me. There it is, fool. Say, I mean, La Negra Tomas, I wait, no mama. Saying, yeah. <laughs> I would say the bands that I personally hear the most is they're always like, like you sound like Young Incubus, you sound like 311, yeah. you got some Sublime influence. <laughs> yeah. Those are probably the three that I hear. The I, most. I, I oh, and of course, Chili Peppers. Chili Peppers. Yeah. Those are the yep, four. Yep. That, For the little that I the little that I heard, I mean, I, I, could, I could see that. You know what's tight is that mm-hmm. how long did you guys know we were going to come in here? Two weeks, three weeks. Damn, now? you didn't even. Check no, out. I did. So, okay, I did. He <laughs> said he put out the link. No, he, he was like, I, I, I fucking did it. Because he was like, Hey, I got my homie's band. My homie's band. He never fucking said the name. Nah, so I never. You guys it. kept going. No, we got this other guys. I'm like, All right, cool. And then Hectic was like, No, we got this other thing. And yeah. I'm like, All right, don't even trip. So, no, but it, to his defense, and then they're like, Hey, we got nothing. Call the guys up. <laughs> <laughs> no, to Chris's defense, he almost died. Yeah, he yeah. was fucking sick as fuck. Yeah, I, I listened to it. I listened to it when it first came. When he first posted it, but. 
Chlamydia. <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, Chlamydia was on Satellite 2, and I, had, I got a lab dance, and I was sick. <laughs> no, but so. you guys definitely have, like, that 90s K-Rock vibe. And that, that's, what, that's what I think what everybody's thinking of over here. The good thing I, is that all the bands that they're, they're sort of comparing to, compared to good band. are good bands. <laughs> Thank yeah. God, dude. So it's except, not like, you except like I haven't heard of band Save Ferris kind of, yet. You know and when he said, don't take offense to this, I'm like, yeah, damn, I got to go listen. I can see where people take offense to Brace for it, huh? You were like, Like, no offense, you guys sound like Three Doors Down and Creed. Oh, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. That I'm sad of. I'm out of here. As long as you don't sound like... Headphones off. As long as you guys don't sound like Hanson and shit, dude. That's where I have some Concern, <laughs> what do you mean, dog? <laughs> Shit. We, we've got the looks for it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't like I don't like comparing all brothers for real. I don't like to compare bands. I heard that. Yep. You know, because you know. But you just did. Being a musician, I don't like to be. Oh, you sound like so and so. Yeah, yeah. I feel that. I feel that. I really like so the I, never, I never, brothers. I never say that. I never say well, that. Is, but it's crazy because everyone like, like needs to throw you in a pool to go check you out. Let me say that again. <laughs> what are you talking about? Are you throw us in the pool? Exactly. They fucking like, waterboard like, you guys to fucking go. <laughs> like when, bro, you're eating when I tell the people, mic. Bro, you're fucking up. clipping like a motherfucker. My bad. <laughs> you, turn them down. I know, I already did. <laughs> <laughs> it's just when he wants to be heard, you are. <laughs> no, I'm just sorry. I just used to the other mics, that's all. You just want to fucking deep throat that shit. I want to all the way down to the bass. You know, it makes me happy to be around people who make as many deep, deep jokes as we do. Like, deep, deep, deep. It gets worse, dude. It gets deep worse. Deep throat <laughs> jokes, actually. Not deep jokes. Deep throat <laughs> jokes. Deep throat <laughs> There's deep butthole jokes. Deep throat jokes. Deep There's also just nostrils. deep, deep jokes. Like, wow, See, that yeah, shit was, that was deep. I had to think deep. about I'm that. Laughing. Laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing. He has a, he has a, a horrible a job to edit the podcast, so I'm on my best behavior when I'm on this thing, so I'm a lot worse than that. Well, you sound good right now, but when you're like, right? My bad, dude. My bad. You it's sound right. like Tupac on, you the, are on the mic. Yeah, wait till we start talking about Bukaki and shit, dude. <laughs> I tried to bring it up earlier. And nobody, dude, everybody, Bukaki. Nobody, everybody dismissed it. We have a song where we chant Bukaki. Like, what kind of song. motorcycle is that? Bukaki. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember actually looking up the word Bukaki. <laughs> and you know how to spell it? Because um, my homeboy's like, oh, hey, uh, let's Bukaki this bitch, bro. <laughs> he showed me Kazaa for the first time. I don't know if He's you guys like, remember what am I getting what, into? Hold on. I, don't, I don't know if you guys remember what Kazaa <laughs> was. Kazaa was like fucking like a BitTorrent fucking website. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. kinds of shit. 56K. And um, he was fucking into porno like on the next level. He was always a run higher than all of us, right? <laughs> like it was a No, no, no. It was always <laughs> Oh, Omar. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> shout out hey, to Omar. Omar. They're talking about you, and I'm like, hey, uh, he goes. So he's Omar's on my computer. Like, he goes, me. hey, have you ever heard of Bukaki? <laughs> I'm like, what's Bukaki? He started fucking. He, you know, downloaded a couple of videos, and as he was waiting, I fucking go on sgs.com. That's how old I am. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> and the definition they had in there was that's like a traditional a uh, woman. woman that gets <laughs> it is eh? fourteen or more. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> Men to ejaculate on their face. We don't this even have is, enough men here. Huh. This is uh, the definition: fourteen or more. <laughs> so that, that's the minimum. Hey, I hope people listening to this are like, "That's what Bukaki is." <laughs> that's Bukaki. So that according to AskGive.com dot com and back Google in two thousand yeah. fucking three, <laughs> bing it. <laughs> Alright, what's, what's Bukaka, be like, Bukaka? What? What's I Bukaka? I don't know. You know what's fucked up? At first I thought he was going to say Bukanes. As soon as started talking. <laughs> Bukanes. Oh, Bukaka's where that you actually good, shit. Right 16 people shit on you, dick. Oh, damn. Have you heard of the icicle? <laughs> no. That sounds wrong, dude. <laughs> it's for another time. <laughs> people aren't ready for next, that one. Next, next podcast. <laughs> next podcast. On the next episode of Luckily Good Podcast. That's, that's 2020 episode shit, 60. dude. Everybody gets quiet. Everybody gets quiet after the Bukaki thing. That's why I don't like bringing it up. You know, just, we got to keep the conversation. You know what? It just reminds me of when we were really struggling and what we had to do to make it here. <laughs> and it just, you know, it just brings back memories. Uh, Those days were rough. Yes, yes. It's, it's, it's like a rough time. A lot of Bukaki. Gil, bring on. fourteen guys. I need to fucking make hey, some money. If everyone brings five dollars, we're gonna eat the next couple of days, bro. <laughs> Thirteen times five. No, he's like, who's the mathematician here? <laughs> Damn, so what's up with the... Tell us about the podcast. How long you guys been doing yeah. it? Damn, huh? they're working, working. Wait, you're interviewing us? No. What the fuck? Nah. Yeah. It's like, sometimes it's an effective... That's uh, cool. I like that. That's cool. kind Go of ahead. a personal question. I, I, yeah, <laughs> seriously, how long you guys hey, been doing it? Because I'm new, I'm the new newbie here right now. Late These 2016, guys, right? Yeah, late 2016, officially 2017. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Late because we're Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why we got here. Yeah, fucking, yeah, no. Exactly. Eight. Yeah, we try to hit every type of um, music style. Oh shit! Sure. And um, yeah, yeah we don't, we don't just try to stick to any just one particular t uh, type of music. Yeah. Lately, it's been nothing but hip hop, but we want to kind of open the doors for like death metal and fucking even cumbia bands. I'm fucking bro. Yeah, bro. I went to a dope cumbia Dude, show. So no, uh, bro, I went to go see them, dog. 
Two weeks, two weeks ago. They're hard, for bro. Them. They were old as fuck. Yeah, they were. <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, were they could good. barely move, huh? They hey. were like singing like this. And just, you know how they do like <laughs> <shit>? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah they like, were just like chilling dope. like this. <laughs> They're dope, dude. That should take me yeah, back low to key, the 80s, dude. I DJed a, a fucking, I think it was a quinceañera, and they were hired, bro. And I, 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 I DJed, and then they played. Oh, I was like, holy dope. shit, I opened up for these motherfuckers. This was like 2012 or something Ooh. like that, 2011. No, way before that. Nine, I think. Nine or ten. 2009 was a great year. And you know who else was there? Oh, Cadete de Linares, I swear to God. Dang. Did you? I bugged did out. Did you take dude. pictures? Yeah, or? I took one. Oh, pick. I have to. I took one pick. That's it. It was pretty dope, though. But back to the podcast. <laughs> that is the podcast. <laughs> No, you were interviewing us. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You were saying. Do you guys ever do like, uh, like just like topics of conversation, or is it always music? Yeah, mm-hmm. it's always music, but we bring up porn all the time. Oh, right. Somehow <laughs> we always end up going with <laughs> Bukaki. Who doesn't? Yeah, all the time. We talk about one of two friends into porn. <laughs> <laughs> Omar's like more than the other guys. It, it's just amazing. Yeah, pe- people like, have forgotten Omar's name already. And then you just <laughs> back up. Son of a bitch. They remember Omar's name like Omar from the Wire. Omar. <laughs> hey, that that was a bad motherfucker, dude. He was. I dude. love that character. <laughs> I never seen the Wire. Dude, I know. I was about to say great, that. I never great seen. Fucking yeah. Theater. See it's it. it's cool. Every season is different. I watched Jack Ryan. Mel instead. Gibson, right? Uh, the Wire. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> Mel Gibson. <laughs> What's in the? How did you guys come up with your name? That's my question. That's a good question. Gil, bro. Gil's a genius. I uh, was walking along the street one day and I stumbled across a penis. <laughs> <laughs> no, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> No, quite honestly, what happened was that no uh, I lost something. I lost something. I, I lost my wall bar on the guitar, uh-huh. and I was looking for it, and I saw this book that said, "No application if you need it" or something. Like that. Oh, it was, was a it was a college application. Yeah. Oh shit! And I was like, "Oh shit! This is." It it's rang. Yeah, that was crazy. It was a college application that said there's no application needed. Yeah, it must have been like ITT that. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take your money now. <laughs> Actually, I think over there it's called UTI or UT. <laughs> it's not UTI. <laughs> UTI. UTI. It's UIT. Not. I don't know. It's not either in the T though for it's, sure. Is that urinary tract <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's what I was thinking. He's trying to get it out too. He's like yeah. No, it, it is UTI, it. Universal Technical Institute. Where? Ah, they yeah, fucked yeah. up. Well, it's because it used to be, uh, what was it before UTI? UT? <laughs> UTS? UTD? Yeah. What's it called? Oh, I don't STD. 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 Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was a UTI. Oh, Wait, no, no, no. Now no, it's STI. STI. You see, I'm, I'm all fucked up. Just keep going. <laughs> so, STI? You got a STI? Yeah. I got a STI. It's better than an STD. Yeah, right. Yes. It goes away in a day or two. That's another school. It's a uh, student's. Um, I don't know. I can't <laughs> think of anything. STD. <laughs> no, but seriously, remember, like, because you guys are older than us, you mm-hmm. had to get a penicillin shot, and I just take pills. Yeah, yeah. I never had that problem, but yeah, <laughs> <laughs> me either. I heard they used to stick a swab down your dick to fucking test you, and oh. just be in a cup. Ooh. I had, I, <laughs> I had that, that one time. I felt that. <laughs> No. I know it's right at the, the dryness. I felt the dryness oh. of it, like, yeah. like, 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 like scraping it inside, like no man. Like like Pain Olympics. Just get, shit. Get a cup. Do you, hey, you know how long you been DJing, bro? Me? Yeah. Uh, since ninety, late ninety five. Shit. Was, as long as you've been alive. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, literally. Literally. He was two years old when you started DJing. <laughs> yeah, I was like, how long you been DJing? I was born last week. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Now you were tight, bro. Oh, you were tired. I've heard a lot of you DJs, tired, but no. yes, yes. you know what? I'm I'm actually not impressed easily with anything. I thought you were gonna stop right there. Like, <laughs> actually, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not impressed. I, I, I was only saying that for the podcast. Yeah, I thought the same. So like, you, you go edit, you go edit <laughs> that out. <laughs> <laughs> not before you're fucking tired. No, it's like, hey, and likewise, your selection, you guys. Bro. Hey, I'm not impressed either, dude. At all. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not impressed <laughs> easily. But you guys killed it that <laughs> night. Like the the dynamics of the sound. Where was this at? It was at Quesera. You guys gotta come through. They have another show this Thursday. No shit. Yeah, work. Oh, I work too. I'm gonna work with them. I'm gonna <laughs> go with DJ that night. What but time, no, what time you off? Uh, uh, eleven oh, at night. Oh, they're yeah. bad fucking ass, dude. You, Damn, gotta, you gotta catch them if you don't catch them this time, dude. Fucking stream that I was shit, dude. Super dick. fucking impressed. Man. Oh word, just have live stream that shit, dude. On the oh yeah, on Instagram. Yeah, I gotta get a phone that doesn't die in ten minutes. <laughs> I saw that at work yesterday. bro. Yeah. It's got you a battery know, pack, fool. Dean knows because I'm always like, I'm going to film us, guys. Yeah, right. We're, we're jamming out and I put it up. <laughs> Sorry, my shit died. Hold on. Let me plug it up again. Like, come on. <laughs> how about, how about take the GoPro? I'll lend it to you and you can film them. Oh, we would oh, appreciate that, that would bro. Sick, dude. We can both yeah. post it. Yeah, yeah. No doubt. We we fucking dope, dude. Hell yeah. We'd be rapping. We'd be tapping. <laughs> <laughs> would, could, should, 
So <laughs> what's up with that new video, dude? That shit's pretty sick. Oh, you guys are wearing the uh, the whole, you know, the Mariachi. Mexican costume. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that picture, that dude. Tight. Hell yeah. Man, it came to me one day. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. It really yeah. did. I was at work. And the idea when you were in TJ or something? Or? No, no, I was at fucking <laughs> in the back room. Of like, the something inventory. makes me want to put a hat on. Like, <laughs> fucking sombrero. I don't know why. It's, it's really this. hot. <laughs> it's because you, uh, did you see the first music video? Yeah, you yes. did. Mm-hmm. We got such great review on that, that I was like, how the fuck am I going to top that thought wise? Like, how am I going to come up with something mm-hmm. to That's top? Dope. That's dope. Because... Uh, I'm, in the first one, I don't know if you got to see it. Mm-hmm. What I, what I, the idea I had was we cut two songs and meshed them because you can't keep people's attention for a whole fucking song. They don't and we're it. still knowing. Mm-hmm. So literally, in one of the songs, right when it peaks and it goes to like this big solo, like it builds up, we just went to another song on the dot. Like I, I hit the the dude who recorded us and I like made fuck your solo, button. right? No, it was it was my solo. Yeah, it was my solo. Actually, it was this solo. Yeah, there's a bass solo. Can you believe it? Ooh, I know. And um, he's like, I sacrificed that shit. For real. And then we went to another video and it got so good one that uh, I was at work one day and I was thinking like it's time, dude, when you record. And I'm kind of psycho when I write it because I, I go like second by second of exactly what scene I want when I meet with the camera guy. So like literally I could I could hire a monkey to hold the camera just to get exactly what my what I'm thinking. Yeah. Mm. And I sat there and it, it must have taken me about three and a half hours straight of literally just playing the song over and over and over and just thinking. And then boom, I just started mapping it out, mapping it out, mapping it out. I got home and I, I was super excited. I told the guys everything and they were like, fuck yeah, dude. It's a great idea. Nice. And we were in Speedos at the beach and that was kind of the, <laughs> you know, what really got us the last one. And I was like, how the fuck am I going to top Speedos at the beach, bro? Mariachi suits. <laughs> mariachi suits. Authentic dude. mariachi yeah. suits. No nice. shit. Dude. We've gotten <laughs> straight from East LA. A lot of really? compliments yeah, for the yeah. mariachi suits, man. Yeah, that shit was fly. I like yeah, it. So, so, how are you going to top that? Are you going to like hire the guy you know who told to you know what? Right now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for real. So we're going to have um, to. We're going to hire we porn recorded stars <laughs> to give us chlamydia. <laughs> there you go. We need fluffers. We need the whole nine. Dude, I keep pushing Bukaki for jet one, skis, but it's not enough budget. Yeah, we're going to get there. But the, the next music video is already done. It's going to be a live one, just a live performance. Cause oh, shit. We don't have any live shit, and that's what we do best. So I was like, we got to yeah, get a live good. video. Yeah. Oh, so shit, I, had, I, can't wait to I had a camera one. guy roll up and just, just record a song, <clears throat> mistakes and all. Yeah, nice. So that's going to be the last wait, thing we it. drop from this album. And the album is about to hit a year dropping in 13 days or 12 days yep. mm-hmm. it'll be a year and then we dropped our baby two videos or three videos from it so it'll be time to just work on the next project oh yeah dude nice. i'm glad that you're thinking of that far ahead though like where you say people get kind of bored or yeah. they kind of lose interest and then yeah, you yeah. hit them with something else that's kind of forward thinking with that shit you I gotta like be bro you know yeah. I, these millennials for real dog it's, hey, they say we're lazy but we're not man <laughs> <laughs> oh shit i'm sitting right next to two of them. <laughs> <laughs> i'm sandwiched in between right here like okay fuck actually up. i think it starts in <laughs> 85. Yeah, te- te- yeah, technically I'm a millennial yeah, as well. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. What the fuck? Because he's I, I wasn't. How does, how does that technically it, play? It's it, it sucks because I was too young to like the do the La, uh, Lollapalooza and, and like, I mean, I was into all that shit. Stone mm-hmm. Temple Pilots, you know, Deftones, Corn when they, when they were fucking big and bad and shit. Mm-hmm. But, well, hey mom, can I go to the concert? Young. You know, <laughs> I wasn't, you know. You uh, need a trip slip. Yeah, you know, I wasn't my rough and tough you know adult self like uh, I'm, I'm gonna go fucking drink a beer and go see this fucking concert you know? right. so yeah uh, right there at hashtag the, rough and tough are you writing that down yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote that down gotcha <laughs> just win. hell yeah uh, so yeah right there at 80 I was born in 87 so mm-hmm. right there at 85 uh, I guess is where they, where they start putting and in you the, were born when Predator came out dude. <laughs> Nope. You're probably conceived to that movie, dude. I was conceived to Die a, Hard uh, came out in eighty seven. A Willie Nelson concert, the Fourth of July, oh, in Austin, shit. Texas. No shit. no shit, you already know this shit. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Hey, you wow. guys, do you know what you're conceived to? I <laughs> nah, hell no. The song I... Sabor a Mi. Oh, no shit. shit. Yeah. Hey, that's tight. My dad dude. came in, my mom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Julio Julio Cesar match. Really? Is that what happened? <laughs> it's just what's that? My mom. My dad came, in my mom. <laughs> Wait, who do you assess at what? A Julio Cesar match. My parents. Uh, the fight? Yeah, they were watching a football uh, fight. fight. Yeah. <laughs> and he was no, like, oh, shit, then, he won. And then my no, dad came in my dude. mom, too. <laughs> no wonder you're so angry, man. I know. Uh, they were watching <laughs> boxing. Dude. Oh, my that's God. That's crazy. We were conceived during a Willie Nelson concert. Yes. A romantic Mexican song. Boxing a Mexican match. boxing match. <laughs> nice. I don't know how I was conceived, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I know how you were I'm conceived. Pre- well, yes, we, my dad. No, um, <laughs> my dad. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was after a big fight or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was. It's crazy. I'm afraid to ask my dad. That'll be some scary shit. No, mijo, sabes que? 
He's like, what a, kind of shit are you? Vamos a embucar aquí. Rick's gonna be like, this is the guy you have your mom was the lucky one out of all 14. <laughs> I was like, what a 14 right? chance you might be mine. <laughs> no, she probably just cleaned it up and then somehow got in her. Dude. Damn. I got I got eight siblings, so I know that my parents like the fuck <laughs> anytime. Dude, I swear to God, it sounded like you said, I got AIDS siblings. <laughs> I, was like, I was looking at him like, what I already too, right? I, like, I got AIDS too. I got AIDS. <laughs> I got easy E AIDS. I got the worst AIDS. Oh, oh shit. That Shug Knight AIDS, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that 1986 got weird fucking lesions on my leg AIDS, you know? That Charlie Sheen. You got that Charlie Sheen? <laughs> nah, that's, that's the good AIDS. Dude. Winning. Oh, that's, that's, the good the, AIDS. that's the Magic Johnson Rich AIDS. AIDS. That's oh, the yeah, winning. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one that get cured. That winning. Come on. <laughs> if they could cure winning. Yeah, I'm by winning. <laughs> where do we, where do we go from there? How dude? did we get to conceiving? Shout out to Charlie Sheen. Well, you just came out of nowhere right? and said, my dad <laughs> nodded into my mom. <laughs> <laughs> he does that. Hey, you know what? We played a show in February in El Paso. <laughs> He's like, he does that. <laughs> right after we finish <laughs> right recording our our uh, our. our uh, music tracks. Uh, oh, yeah, show. yeah, yeah. And we, then you nut in somebody. <laughs> <laughs> like, that song's over. I got to go nut in somebody real quick. Nut that way? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. Tell, tell, tell a story. And um, we were, I guess, sorry, little side story to make this make sense. There was a show in particular where wrong, it clicked. Huh, no, no, you're right. There was a show that clicked for me and Gil because when we finished playing, we got a lot of positive response and everyone came up to us and they're like, hey, bro. You're so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. They're like, hey, bro, you guys are fucking hilarious, dog. Uh-huh. And, and then after about I'm like eight or nine of those, I looked at Gil and Gil looks at me and goes, hey, bro, did anybody compliment your playing? I was like, nah, they just said we were funny. And he's like, me too. <laughs> so we just started running with that, bro. So we always, you know, we realized we got to be entertainment, too. We try it's, to make everyone laugh. Yeah. So fucking now to the story. We're on stage and <laughs> my parents are wild. And this really happened, and I wanted to tell the crowd about how we were getting drunk with my mom, and then, you know, we started making jokes about my dad coming on my mom. Oh my and right God. when I said that, like, Gil got on the mic. He's never stopped me from talking. And he's like, hey, all right, all right, that's enough, that's enough. <laughs> and a lot of people in the crowd reacted very shocking. <laughs> really? They were just like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> Some people thought to, to it was you? hilarious. Like, or to him saying stop. No, no, to me about talking about my dad nutting oh, on my mom's okay. face. I thought they were like, we want to hear this <laughs> shit. Wait, Don't stop it. Why are you stopping? You get to the good part. I thought you were going to tell us a story about how you got your little brother. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till the climax. Not yet. No. You know what would be amazing if uh, if we hear from somebody who knocked up their chick while listening to your guys' Oh, music. bro, that would be super tight. I think I would it's, feel accomplished with my life if yes, that happens. Right? Gil oh, yeah. already so got that, a baby named after him yeah, for yeah. being a dope guitarist. <laughs> no no way. Yeah, yeah, his godson. Oh, yeah, my godson. His godson got named after Gil after he just met Gil. Damn, dude. That's some uh, commitment. Yeah. I know, <laughs> right? Like you guys got to remain friends forever now, dude. Yeah, we'll have to. Damn, oh, how was that name? I hate these guys. Screw you guys. I'm going home. No, it's it's been good. Um, I feel a little left out sometimes because they've they've been with each other for so long, um, sexually too. Yeah, <laughs> for real. Yeah. Yeah. Some weird positions. That <laughs> He's they like, I'm the newbie. Too. I'm flexible. I will fucking pull out the book. I'm like, oh. <laughs> hey. Anyways, Carpenter. page thirty five. <laughs> page thirty five. <laughs> Andy's a contortionist. <laughs> no, but it's been it's been really cool. Like com- coming out here, and uh, Andy called me one day, and he's like, "Are we going to do this?" Because I was still living in Texas at the time. And I was greyhounding out here, and uh, he was like, are, are you going to fucking move out here, and are we really going to fucking do this? And we pulled that trigger... Like a week later. I kind of gave him an ultimatum. Yeah. We, were, start, <laughs> like, we were starting to come up, and we had just uh, lost a drummer, and Snail kind of plugged himself in with us, and we yeah. were like, fuck, we, you learned this, you got to come try. And then it started working out, but like he said, he was doing greyhounds, and it got expensive, bro, because yeah. I would have to book a show months in advance to make sure, and then get him a greyhound to come out. With a couple days to jam and then play the show, we started getting some good review and we started getting offers for shows and I had to say no. And I looked at Gil and I was like, damn, I think I'm going to make this phone call. <laughs> and I just, I literally just gave him ultimate. I was like, hey bro, check it out. Either you get out here and we play these shows or we got to figure something out on our end. Damn. And writing that what are you fucking about to do? Greyhound, dude. Like, what are you about yeah. to do? Damn. I've ridden that shit, dude, and fucked the Greyhound. 17 no, hours, 17 man. Oh. hours, bro. You know what, dude? I've ridden the limousines. It drops you right on Skid Row. <laughs> That's what you end up in? Huh. That shit was scary, man. I dude. I was dropped off on Skid Row, and then I, I didn't know where the fuck I was going, so I ended up in, in Union Station, and from Union Station, I took the red line to the blue line, and I was like, oh, finally, I'm home, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I rode that shit, and I swear, every fucking where I sat, 
Somebody behind me or in front of me was fucking throwing up, dude. Oh. Damn. And then I would fucking, every stop, I would move my fucking seat. And then that fucking person in front of me would start throwing were up. Were you coming from Vegas? Where the fuck were you coming from? From fucking San Luis Obispo, dude. Damn. Yeah. They be drinking all Oh, there's fucking tweakers on that shit, dude. Wow. All the way up and down. Are all Greyhounds, bro. Dude. Anywhere. Yeah, there was there definitely the one I took. Hell tweakers. I well, took it from Nogales home. In the see, I thought it was, I thought it was me, dude. I thought, like, my funk was fucking spreading some <laughs> fucking weird shit around, dude. It was fuckery hounds, man. I don't know how you yeah. did 17 hours. I did 10 hours. Back and forth. Crying. Yeah. Back and forth. Back and forth. forth. You like, did that uh, shit like six, seven times? Yeah. It? At least. At least six or seven times. Dude, the, the secret around here is you got to take like Tres Estrellas, dude. To El Paso, man. What? Tres Fuck Estrellas that. is like the, the, the ghettoest greyhound you could find. Oh, shit. They have those out here? Tres Estrellas? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. HP, dude. It's in high school. El Paso, Vegas. Because I'd be out there. HP. Fast, that shit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that <laughs> shit is nice. <laughs> Fucking bugs. I got bathrooms on there. Bald ass tires and shit. <laughs> leading to one side and nobody's in it. They know? play the same movie for like 17 like hours, but it's all good. <laughs> dude, every time I'll go like to TJ, <laughs> I'll fucking <laughs> see one of those fucking Tres Estrellas broke down on the side, dude. Fuck. Never failed, man. Never failed, dude. But that's people like carrying all their fucking furniture and shit in there. Well, too. if you want to go to the TJ. ones that uh, those are those, my bad. No, 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 that's cool. Like, <laughs> no, we me, always right? talk fuck over me. each other all the time. <laughs> I know. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm sorry. What were you gonna say? I was just gonna say that for twenty six dollars you could go. To no, TJ. I was asking him. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say <laughs> Pancho used to take those to Vegas. The, oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The three the 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 beat up ones. The, the three stars, excuse me. The three stars. <laughs> It's not yet five stars, but it's three stars. Yes. <laughs> as far as Yelp They're like, hey, check the name, bro. You gave what you pay for. They, they look like the bus from Salina, dick. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Everything for Salinas. <laughs> Anything for Salinas. Where can people find your music, first of all? Distribution hit us with everything, so... So I think there's iTunes. I think the Spotify. only thing we're not on is Pandora. It's hard to get on that. No shit. Or whatever else you got. Amazon. Go music, to DistroKid, fool. You know what's funny? I was gonna use it for it, but I went with TuneCore <laughs> because uh, someone I knew was working with a, a really well known artist, mm-hmm. and they used TuneCore because I guess the benefits had changed for that year. Mm-hmm. But now that I know a lot of people that have dropped music in the past year, they all use DistroKid. And I was like, damn, should use fucking DistroKid? Yeah, well, we've been the using, next one, it, we're using and that they, shit for they sure. put us on everything. Yeah, bro. We're on all that iTunes. Yeah, that's the good thing about most of these. Distributions, they do put you on everything, yeah. but fucking TuneCore hints us with 50 a year. It was like a little gray period. But you know what I did hear about DistroKid? Hey, if, if DistroKid, are you listening? Head us up. <laughs> what happened was uh, people were telling me that they were dropping their music before the release date. Mm. So they would say, like, I want to release it on the 1st, and it would come out on the 28th. That's true. And that they would be like, what the us, fuck? Really? That like, happened to us We tried to do day. this big fucking... You know, thing about dropping it and DistroKid dropped it. Early. That's the only thing I've heard about DistroKid that's negative. Yeah. Now, yeah. Did you said it happened to you too? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Just the other day, See? my boy was like, hey, it's going to be available December 26th. And then all of a sudden, my boy OSK is like, oh, hey, it's, it's available now. Yeah. A song called OGs. I'm like, surprise. Right. Yeah. It's available now. Cool. So you guys but you know what's YouTube? cool about a DistroKid is that they put you on um, IG as well on the stories. Oh, that's pretty sick. That's what's it's up. pretty sick. And then, I'm not sure how it works, but you might be able to, to submit your lyrics so it pops out. And all that that's shit. what I want next, too, to make it look a little that's more That's that official. next level shit. Were man. you able to, um, through, oh no, it was through something else. You know what was hard? Getting like the little check marks to make it official. Apple makes you jump through hoops. Like if you go on Apple Music, we're like an mm-hmm. official one, or like on Spotify, yeah. we're the official one. Spotify was super easy, bro, but Apple Music, that bitch was a fucking waiting period to oh, get official on that. They wanted like hella information to prove that it was you. How long did it take us to get on iTunes? A year and a half almost. Yeah. Oh, shit. Well, it's been yeah. A, yeah. It was like we had a problem with playing the music on the podcast. Yeah, because they, they need all the Just legal yep. rights, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Mm-hmm. But it's like if you're signed, that's a big problem. But if you're not signed, they don't fucking care. Yep, exactly. Well, lucky for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got popped a few times where we got to take the music completely out. Mm, oh, shit. It sounded too much like somebody else's music. Mm, but, damn. Watch fucking, who'd you say? Save Ferris? Save Ferris. It's going to be like, that podcast was playing some of our music. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> nah, you guys would be fine on this one, dude. Sure. When did we get popped for DJ, um, DJ Hydro? What song was that? Was that a Fuck really all badass them. song? No, all of them, dude. <coughs> Everything he played, we got popped for, dude. Fucking hell. But, and he that played something for, mix, from uh, Pigeon John. Yeah. He played something for Pigeon John. That's what it was. It was Pigeon John. Yeah. Was Pigeon John we got, got popped. Pop even though we had the permissions. Shout out to Pigeon John. Oh, yeah, dude. That sucks the way everything works now, man. Yeah, it's, it's fucking like, crazy, dude. It's too regulated. Everyone wants yep. to give me my share. Yep. Crazy. Just like weed. <laughs> oh, you created something? Let me get a piece. Yeah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> like, In all fairness, and I'm not really big on the music industry, but... 
It's here to protect you guys. Yeah, of you course. know, yeah, because there's there's con- conniving motherfuckers out there. Fuck yeah, yeah there's yeah, conniving motherfuckers. I mean, like people from conniving motherfuckers. Say Austin, Texas. Sounds like a good band. You know, name. they fucking conniving steal your shit, rebrand your shit, yeah. sell your shit. Re- you know, conniving MF. I'd be fucking pissed. <laughs> you know, there used to be the the <laughs> poor man's copyright. Remember, you would like email it. Yeah, you would mail it to yourself mail and never open it just in case. Oh yeah, poor man's copyright. Yeah. yeah. Now because of the like the codes that are given when you like. You know when you distributed mm-hmm. it, dis- distribute Dis- it? Distribute, distribute. distribute it, distribute it. When you did that, you know how it gives you like your your ID. Distributed it. That's your copyright. Yeah. So like if someone yeah. were to try to say like, oh, you know we wrote this, I could be like, oh well, look at the fucking. Well, thing. I got my ID. Did it. it. I got my. <laughs> <laughs> I got my date for the distributed it date. Look at the date it did. I loaded it. It's a long time ago that did it. So you guys, do you guys release like hard sa- samples or DVDs? I'm sorry, uh, CDs or anything like that? You know, uh, you I I went with no this time around because streaming mm. is just, it's yeah. taking over everything. It's it's yeah. Once that, we have huh? a better fan base that I think, not that we don't have people who will buy it and support us, but it's going to cost you more than we To make it worth yeah. it for yeah, you. Yeah, so maybe on the next one, I think we have a big enough um, following that people would want to buy it. But the, with this one, we didn't. No, Got so you. I'll, I'll what about QR on. codes? You guys are using QR codes? People we, scan your shit? Yeah, yeah. Directly? Actually, we that was the first thing we did. I came up with that idea, and it, it was on a sticker, and it looks like the album, but inside of the album, it has the, the code. Yeah. Someone actually commented on a YouTube video like a couple weeks ago, and they're like, what the fuck? This was dope. I just scanned this on a, on a oh, poll. Oh, dude, I saw that. Up. I just scanned it on a poll, and, it, and this popped oh, up. Oh, shit. That's oh, tight. Dude. So everywhere I go, bro, like any show we're going to, I, I slap as many as I can. Walking yeah. down the street... Boom, boom. I get in the venue. I'm slapping them in the restrooms. Put them everywhere. Yeah, I work for, I work for Lyft, so everywhere I go. No oh, shit. If yeah. I get a chance, bah, bah, bah. That's where I got the dope-ass hat from, dude. That is a tight <laughs> hat, dude. It is. I'm looking at that. Not literally cool. tight, but it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's very tight. actually very it's, perfectly fitted. Yeah, it's very form-fitted. Fitted it. Fitted it. Fitted fitted like, it. You know what I right? saw was like a business card with a USB on it that had that guy's music on it. Wow. So if you want to hear anything else, you just get the business card. It cuts out. And it has is like it one that slides out like that? I think yeah. I've seen those. Those are fucking dope, dude. I actually like that. And some people are taking I think a CD would be cheaper. <laughs> They're actually, it's not expensive. I really dude. believe A Track would be the way to go. <laughs> hey, you'll see, yeah, me, yeah. You'll see me outside Foo for Less giving out A Tracks to people. <laughs> hey, listen to our shit. I, I looked them shit. up and for like a thousand, it's like 19 cents each, dude. Really? So it's, it's pretty cheap. It's yeah. doable. For an A Track? No. Oh, <laughs> for the USB. For the little USB card. Oh, that's pretty tight. How do you guys and feel about that? People marketing their music that way. Standing outside of Food for Less or outside the AMP. That's the old school. Like, that's that's the old school. Old school. You know, they still, be, they still be out in the streets. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have a lot of respect for somebody who's actually out there doing that, pimping their shit out, dude. Yeah. Versus, hey, you don't know who the fuck I am? You know, they're trying to fucking pimp their shit out by a word. But the ones I hate are the ones that try to, hey, hey check us out. And then you take the seat, like, oh, I'll check you guys oh, Venice out. style. Yeah, and they want to fucking, like, give me hey, 20 well, bucks. Get, yeah. You're like, I was like nah, bro, come no, on. I'll give me back then. I'll yeah. give you, I'll give you $2 if you that. want. Yeah, dude, I, they do I it a lot, those. right? They walk up like they're going to give it to you, and they're like, yes. Yeah, they got bucks. headphones, yeah. they're like, check it yeah. out, check what it what out. Fuck? Reggae for kids. Yep. Those yeah. are the ones, like, I don't even want to hear your shit at that point, dude. I met this guy, and he said that you could bump it before you buy it. And he <laughs> gave you a little sample of it. Oh no, he, shit! And then he fucking sold it to you. And now that's cool. That's, that's kind of tight. How do you guys feel uh, feel about like giving out your music for free? Cool. It is what it is, baby. That's what we're doing. You got to get out there. Sometime. The time will come yeah. where people. I think. Yeah, I guess because the money will come <clears throat> with the shows a lot of times, right? Yeah. In in a year and merch, merch off and of streams merch. and album purchases, we've made like. Forty-seven dollars. So to to quote <laughs> Lars, real, I will dude. sue anybody. I feel you. <laughs> that was real, dude. And I Just looked kidding. one time, and it was like six hundred streams on this, ninety-seven cents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know how it goes. Yeah. yeah. So the money's in the shows and the merch. Yeah, man. It's, it's yeah. 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 And we recently went in on our merch. We got a bunch of stickers. We bought a little fucking press to make our shirts. Because I nice. I hate I tried, bro. I I tried finding people to do our shirts to do this do that. And you know everyone's oh, I got you I got you hit me yeah. up take my number yep. and then when I really call. Oh, fuck. Duck me, duck me. And I, if you're not about your paper, I can't fuck with you. Dude, I used to print yeah. t-shirts and I couldn't get fucking bands to commit for shit. Yep, uh, yep. It's a, it's, it's both ways. You yeah. Know? It's hard to find people. So I was just like, fuck the middleman. I so found the, a guy who makes like yeah. quality vinyl, heat vinyls, mm-hmm. makes some really good ones. So we just buy the vinyls from him and yeah. then we buy the shirts. We just fucking press that shirt. Ourselves. That's what we were, we were offering that. But at that moment, I was making t-shirts. They were still kind of a little expensive. But at least you don't have to have fucking large inventory, dude. Mm-hmm. You so could get them on the fly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we should just, we'll give them like a sticker pack. And then as they got the orders, they just go order the, t- the shirts. 
best way to fucking do it. Dude. Yeah. So if you ever wonder why Metallica tickets are three hundred fifty bucks a piece, that's why because they're not making money off the albums anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's why they sued Napster. Yeah, that's why yeah. they sued Napster. Thanks, Lars. Yeah, thanks, Lars. <laughs> I used to like he you really before that. Really fucked us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he really fucked us with that one. But you guys are selling. Um, you guys are selling merch. You guys are selling stickers. Yeah. Our um, bodies. <laughs> hey, it's, it's, it's hard in these. Blow streets. a drummer for five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're lucky. Chris is broke, man. Yeah, you're lucky. <laughs> twenty bucks goes a long way for Chris, man. And you know what? I'll do stuff for twenty bucks, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'll do stuff for twenty bucks. <laughs> Doesn't I pay you a dollar? <laughs> so they're, they're you're gonna cents. cancel each other out. <laughs> No so charge, <laughs> free. <laughs> Ten dollars to touch your. Two toes. negatives don't hey, make a positive. The mics, the mics are on. <laughs> Go ahead. Is this thing on? I know. What's a ZJ? <laughs> Chris's mic is not, not the only thing that's turned on, dude. <laughs> I don't know. How you guys feel about uh, random boners? Uh, They're crazy, crazy, dude. Yeah. They always happen at the wrong fucking time, dude. <laughs> I used to get them when I would get up. I'd like, be chilling for a good while, and just, <laughs> I get up and go. And I'm like, "What the fuck's going on right now?" And the fucking girls no! walking by, like, "Hey, these shoes are tight." Fucking, I can't. I gotta tie my shoe right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> for for 70 seconds, while I'm like, you know what I do to get rid of my boners? Say as many baseball players as I can. <laughs> like I swear to God, it works. Players? It works every time, bro. I'll be like, say the starting lineup for today, because I'm a. Yeah. We're all big Dodger fans, and I was like, who's the starting lineup? I'm like, okay. Yeah, and then once I get halfway through, I'm like, oh, I'm good. Then once you think of Tommy Lasorda, ring. <laughs> <laughs> that's next level oh, shit. Yeah. Most people so just go good. baseball, baseball. <laughs> You're like the players. <laughs> you know what I do? I do? I do math. I'm like Vince five plus five, five math, ten, math, oh, math ten plus ten, hey, 20, 20. I got one for you. That man. would work for just me. Think of army because I'm so bad at math. I'd be like oh, army bitches. Just think of army bitches. Boner runs away. They're not thinking hard, but thinking. What was the last weird boner you had? Right now. Was it? In traffic this afternoon? I don't know. Hey, have you guys ever beat your dick in traffic? Yeah. Oh. No. <laughs> no. In traffic? No, I haven't tried no. that in traffic. I pulled over to the side, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, a, normal, yeah. like a normal spot. Like a normal spot. Like a normal creep, you know? Like a normal creeper. Pulled over I'm to fucking the side. 43 years old. I'll go to jail. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you the weirdest one. Um, out in the desert, we had a fucking Porta John, and dudes were lined up. To spank their shit, dude. <laughs> what? No yeah. shit. Hey, it's been five minutes already. Hey, come on, dog. <laughs> You're standing there waiting. The guy walks out, hands you a magazine. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, man. He's, he walks no. by. Not even, not even a magazine. Just the, just one page. <laughs> <laughs> it's all wrinkled now. And fucking it's stuck it's the centerfold. It's half the centerfold. And shit. It's all covered in plastic. Well, everything was taped up on the walls. You weren't out yeah, there. Uh, this is it. before cell phones. Oh, so everything damn. was like up on the fucking wall. And like the best shit was up there, dude. Damn. Perfect 10 was, just came out. <laughs> Yeah. What about you, bro? Weird boner? Hmm? Weird boner memory? Weird boner memory? Up top? I know it's kind of a... While oh, drumming? Uh, no, I haven't got a fucking boner while drumming. Damn, I... Oh, but really strange, huh? Uh, but no, but usually when I get one of those weird boners, it's just one of those things like, mm, am I going to beat this bitch off? Or... <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> Fuck it, I just gotta take a piss. <laughs> Usually, I just gotta go take a piss and then fucking. Do you this pee, was you pee with a boner? As a murder weapon. <laughs> I, I tried to. Oh, it's hard, dude. You yeah. stick your whole fucking yeah. ass bag. Yeah. Ah, fucking. Push Wait, real. what about ass bags? <laughs> <laughs> now nah, we were talking about peeing with a boner. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. <laughs> that's just crazy, dude. You you have to, like, just turn like around a, and piss in the shower. Like a human L, like and a fucking shit. professional, <laughs> like a fucking doctor. <laughs> What are you doing with yourself? Just piss in the shower, man. Wait, there was a that led to another topic I wanted to talk about. It was about dick still, but it was well, definitely, friend. definitely stay on that <laughs> was, topic. Yes, but it was good. What <laughs> my, we, my bag of dicks. We're we talking about random. Bones? You know, there's, a, there's been a lot of <laughs> dick mouth. talk on this podcast, right? Yeah, it is. It's all because of Chris's hat, dude. I don't fucking know what hat. I'm wearing a beanie. That's what it is, dick. It looks like a dick, dick. It looks, it looks like a dick. Like a dick, dick. <laughs> I remember the first time my mom told me that I was wearing a beanie. She's like, "You look like a condom." <laughs> like, with the reservoir tip. Pulled it down there to the. Did you roll it or what? When you wear a beanie made of latex, I was gonna say put it on like that. It's like this is not latex, mom. It's lamb's wool. <laughs> the receptacle end sticking up. Why is there a tip on there, dude? <laughs> oh shit! Hi, I'm Aquaman. Ribbed for her pleasure. <laughs> say that. Dude. You know, I used condoms for a few years until I figured out that you were supposed to leave space. For your mech, <laughs> oh, I, I was like 16, shit. 17, just putting that bitch tight all the way on. And shit. <laughs> it broke. Uh, you turning purple. And My mom was like, do you, "Do you pinch the tip to leave some space?" And I was like, "Yes, oh. <laughs> of course." Mom. Now I do. <laughs> That's crazy. I don't talk about like stuff like that to my mom. Dude, my, my mom is a nasty. I got bitch. an old school mom, dude. Super old school. 
Like I, I, I can't even talk about sex. It's just like ah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's like, did you go out with that girl? Yes, mom. <laughs> and I touched her hand. <laughs> My mom's like, hey, me off. My mom's like, hey, if you're gonna bring that, you're gonna bring that girl into the house. Just don't make a lot of noise. <laughs> hey, because Gil loves to, Gil's a spanker, bro. <laughs> She's yeah, like, Gil, loud. just clean the walls when you're done. Thank you. <laughs> hey, when we were young, I remember I had to ask someone to, I'm like, hey, what do you come into? Like, do you have a sock? Do you use toilet paper? He's like, I just come on my bed, bro. <laughs> I was like, does your mom say anything when she sees your sheets? He was like, she just didn't say nothing. I was like, Cause she must be like, God damn, look at all this fucking, this one just busting fat loads and sleeping She's in like, it. She's like, California art, look at that. It looks like the inside of a cave. <laughs> Let me go get my black light. Like those painters, they, the painters that just grab the shit and go, whoosh, <laughs> slap, 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 slap. She has a fucking hole in the proof the thing that so story can... to be told. <laughs> I was talking about someone else. <laughs> just kidding. Wow. You know, we talked about your music for like five whole minutes. I know, and after that, it <laughs> was about dick, forty-five dick, minutes dick, of dicks dick, 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 and fucking. So what? What are your influences? Porn and cock. Dude, wait, Book that's cock. the story. That's the story. All right. How did All you right. know? <laughs> when we were in the studio, I had you came on somebody's this, bed. I had this thought that if I wasn't, there was only three things I was going to be doing in the studio: either I was recording, drinking and smoking, or looking at porn. That's all I did for. How long were you in there? Maybe like 58, 60 hours? That's it, bro. That's fucking studio. Damn, I think that's it. a lot of porn. It was a lot of porn. 58, dude. 60 hours. And I would watch it until like, well, I was recording sometimes too, you know? So <laughs> recording like, the porn? <laughs> like, I remember like right when I started like getting like a big enough boner that it was going to be weird, I just put it down and just <laughs> go back to the start watching Gail and they look at me. I'm like, oh no, yeah, it sounds good. It sounds good. <laughs> like, Andy, you're up. So, you're like, oh, I can't, can't get over it now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nah, I was, I'm a comfortable motherfucker. Back bro. to back you're, to fuck up, back to fuck up. Hold on, hold on. I, wow. So, Keep in mind, when you were in the studio, you looked at him with an erection. <laughs> I looked at everyone in that room with a Did you make eye contact? <laughs> Hell yeah. Which is weird. I get up hey, and okay. walk with it. So we I, don't know if that's, I don't know if that's the bad part. The bad part is that you're not attractive enough for him to keep an erection. <laughs> That's, you know. I told you, I'm the <laughs> ugliest, prettiest girl, man. I'm the prettiest, I, I ugliest know, girl. I don't know, bro. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. He, he's both of those girls. He's both of those girls. <laughs> I really am. He's a Gemini girl. My question is. I am what, a Gemini, even. Are you what, really? I am. Gemini. Fuck Me too, Otto. What, what day? May 24th. Just I'm made the cut. Man. June 1st. Nice. I just got cut. <laughs> All right, which one of you guys has the boner right now? That's my question, dude. I'm trying to get one, but one? I just it's just me not too. Working. I wanted to make really? it weird. Hey, yeah, I was like, hey, let's have a race. Hopefully, I'll get a boner right now, just randomly. <laughs> and just stand up. And but that does, that's not how it works. You can't be like, I want a random boner right now. That's, <laughs> work, dick, wanted, work. When you want it, it doesn't fuck. Come. That's what she said. Shit out of it, <laughs> <laughs> Fucking buggy knife, beat that shit. You see, dude. and then a dog Hashtag licks me. Viagra. I'm like, who's licking me? Stop licking me, Phil. Fuck. Chica, get the fuck out of here, please. <laughs> she keeps popping up at the worst. You're words fucking time. with me, dude. Yeah, I was like, Gil's licking my hand. <laughs> with his hand. How does yeah. that work? This is getting really weird now. Yes, it is. <laughs> but Gil's licking influences. his hand. Yeah, what's up? <laughs> Porn and cock? Let's talk about music. What the fuck? Yeah, let's talk about music. My yeah. bad, dude. My bad. How long have we been going? It's too long. Uh, an hour. <laughs> Damn, That's what she hour said. Of doing, hour of talking about this. You know who I really <laughs> no, like? I like Daft Punk a lot. Oh, no that shit. Shit is honest to God, I really love that punk a lot. You know what? I still play around the world. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's, that's the fucking shit. Insane, bro. Dude. That's Fuck that shit. Rain, Homework bro. is a fucking Homework dope album. Homework is the yeah. shit. Homework is a good album. Yeah. Sick. Well, yeah. What other bands kind of uh, bring it out of you guys? You know, well, like you said, the Red Chili Peppers have always been. I hate to admit it for some reason because it makes me feel kind of weird inside, but I love the Red Chili Peppers. Like I, yeah, I saw those guys live. They were sick. That's tight. They were dope. That's yeah. fucking tight. I like them. I, I, I fucking love them. I can't bro. say anything bad about them. Me either. You know, you know, Flea plays the trumpet. Yeah, yeah. and he yeah. fucks that shit up. You know, Flea yeah. was that dude fucking from the Wild dog. Thornberries that didn't speak and just made noises. That was Flea making all the noises. Ah, in the Wild really? Thornberries. Yeah, from the Nickelodeon show. I don't think I saw that. <laughs> really? I gotta go no see shit. that shit. That was really, you yeah, gotta keep sure. in mind, he's a fucking 25 years older. I know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, fucking, I'm probably the oldest motherfucker here. Ah, uh, shit. He grew up with the Muppets, dude. The original ones. <laughs> We're talking 74 right now. <laughs> real. For My dad graduated dad high school in 74. You were born in 74? See, way. Damn, you look good, bro. I'm glad you, you should see his balls. I think it's getting a little weird here. Yeah. <laughs> you, wanna go out, you wanna get out of here? <laughs> you wanna grab a beer? You wanna make it weird somewhere else? <laughs> no, yeah, man. I uh, you just... Uh, I got the Benjamin. What is that guy? Benjamin. Yeah, Benjamin. yeah that, 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 I got the Benjamin. The curious case of Benjamin <laughs> yes, Buffalo. Who else besides Chili Peppers? I think I uh, um, I really like uh, Frank Zappa. No shit. Ooh, dude. I really do like Frank Zappa. He's kind of weird though, so I can't listen to him with other people. But I really do enjoy. Is there him. anybody you listen to that you're kind of embarrassed to say? 
<laughs> no one's gonna say. Oh uh, yeah, Miley Cyrus. I really love this fool when party. You, that was this fool shit. It's my shit. Really? You can even make what? fun of him. He was like, I don't give a fuck, bro. He's like, I'm gonna throw my hands up, play my song. <laughs> Radio like, like the, going away. Oh, he, he the wrecking like ball. The no, ball. that one I didn't. I just, I just really liked. The rest. Nah, he wants shit. to fuck Miley Cyrus. I do. Oh, I'm not I, well, see, I think she's married. Mad at that. I think she's married now, so I mean, is she? Jokes on me, right? Yeah. Now you really want to fuck her. <laughs> <laughs> she, now it's a challenge. Wants to, he wants to jump on stage and just slide down that huge tongue that she has on stage. You ever see that? Her sliding down that tongue. I didn't. Mm-hmm. I guess you're a Miley Cyrus fan too, huh? I know. No pro. No pro. I'm a fan like of what music. Tongue? He was just a little too embarrassed to admit it. <laughs> I'm a fan it. of music. That's where I am. <laughs> what about you, Sam? Um, animals as leaders, uh, for sure. Uh, just that crazy polyrhythmic shit that you can't figure out, and um, probably you're beating your meat. <laughs> uh, he, be- he beats his beat in fucking four fourteen. No, you get it wrong. I beat my bitch. I'm beating my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. No, but go again. Go ahead. Uh, and then probably like um, Deftones and and the early corn really morphed me into the weirdo that I'm in today. Mm. Um, you no. Know, the first three albums for Corn, like I just fucking listened to that as as a fifth grader all the way until I graduated and uh, or until they came out with like issues and I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> just dropped off. Let me ask you something. Fucker. Yeah, who's your favorite drummer? Oh fuck, dude. Uh, okay, who's your favorite drummer this week? Like, like the flavor of the month for you? All right, you know I, I, I like, I, yep, that's the best way to ask stuff. Especially like mm-hmm. what kind of music you like? So what do you listen to right now? Yeah, because mm-hmm. I mean that always varies. It's hard. Yeah, man. What uh, you like I'll, in I'll give you like I'll give you my top five right now. Uh, Buddy Rich, of course. Damn. Um, Hell yeah. I play traditional sticking. Mm-hmm. He's the fucking master of that yeah. shit. Um, uh, Matt Garska from Animals as Leaders. Uh, uh, Abe Cunningham from Deftones. Um, really? Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Is it yeah, really? man. I, it, f- I'm glad, dude. I'm Wait, well, what's wrong with him? Dude? Yeah, yeah, what's yeah. Wrong yeah. With him? yeah. I, I, say I, it, Chris. Dude, Go ahead. Shit, say it. That shit got me off, man. It, That's it, some basic shit right there. Ah, know. dude. His uh. fills and I don't know, man. He it, it worked with the style, um, and uh, I don't know, man. Like just his energy and his playing and stuff like that. Uh, it really did it for me, you know. It really, really did. I don't know what about his particular style. Like, you're right, and he gets kind of lost because uh, <clears throat> I don't want to say that it's not good because it's it's perfect for what it is, but it's a different caliber, mm-hmm. you know. So I, I I can see where you're coming with that. Um, it fits the style though, so yeah, I, I, absolutely. And, and, and I don't know, man. It was it was just it was, it was my shit. So fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David from Corn, um, just a lot of fucking ghost notes. I love ghost notes, man. I, I, I really get off on that. Uh, really? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, let's see who else. Who else? Who else? Um, Is that four? That's four right now. Um, I'm trying to study more of like John Bonham. John Bonham? Uh, yeah, and and really see. Actually, just any drummer nowadays. Like while I'm at work, um, listening to the radio and like, why why is this on the fucking radio? He was very very heavy handed. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. And uh, they used to record him with one mic. Oh shit! Yeah, they, they just they, they fucking just put in the boom a like, room mic or what? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, they used to just put like a. I think it was like a mic on the bass drum, and then they had an overhead mic, and that was it. That's how fucking loud that guy was. Damn, Damn that's crazy. Yeah. I didn't yeah, know that. Play yeah. 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 yeah, I think it was a uh, John John Linden Linden whatever his name is the producer, and uh, I think it was um, what's it? Fucking when the levees broke, uh, mm-hmm. they put him in the they put him in the middle of a fucking of a, of a mansion in the, the grand foyer. You know what a grand foyer is yeah. like when you walk in, there's a big ass room. Yeah, yeah. They fucking draped the mic over the stairs and then they fucking record the drums that way. That's oh, why yeah. it sounds fucking Damn. massive. That's cool. So there isn't a big echoey room. Yeah, I heard he they experimented with a lot of different <clears throat> well, places. Fuck yeah, John Bonham. I mean, John Bonham's John Bonham for a reason. Right. So, right. But what just just in general, like anything that you hear on the radio, like right now, I might not even know the the drummer's name, uh, and I'm just digging, a, or any of the musicians that are on the radio right now, uh, I don't know John from Paul, and, and just really listening in musically and like, why does this work? Mm-hmm. You know, like you're trying to find where their niche is, like as far as a drummer, or like, yeah, like just really dissect it and like, what? okay, it's a fucking plain ass beat, but. 
you see fucking everyone just fucking moving to it. You he know, pocket. What, what is he yeah, doing yeah. to make that yeah, plain exactly. beat sound so different? Exactly. So you know, is it in the pocket? Is is there a, a certain Are these sound? A certain people swing. Retard, Sometimes yeah. there's swings. Like Bonham had some swings, dude. And yeah, that yeah. Shit, people like still try to emulate that today to this day. Hell yeah, it's hell yeah. It's weird because I'm a bass player and or I play bass. Yeah, okay. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> I follow drummers more than I follow bassists. Okay. You know, and I always ask the drummers, hey, what's, what's... He's oh, like, hey, where are you going? going? Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? I always follow drummers, yeah. <laughs> no, I always ask them, you know, what's the, what's the, what's the, what's their thing, you know, like, right. who are they listening to, you know? Okay, hell yeah. And the pocket's important, you know? Yeah, no, Tempo is important, you know, Hey, wait for me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, come here. Sorry, hey, sorry, hey, sorry hey, fool. Hey, we're over here still laughing. I'm trying thing. not to laugh. I'm come trying, here. fool. Okay. <clears throat> uh, no, yes, so yes. the Master serious of face? Pockets is going to be... Uh, serious face. Uh, master of Pockets is going to be fucking... Hashtag serious uh, face right there. <laughs> Stuart Copeland, man. Yeah. It's Copeland's a that fucking... That fool is sick. Sorry. Yeah. He, he's fucking <laughs> bad, he's actually. Very good. And, and one of the things I kind of... And they're a trio, <laughs> too. The police. Yeah. The police are a trio. He's bad. Yeah, they're for all you kids. They're one of my favorite Stuart groups, and I'm not ashamed. Yeah. How, it shouldn't be. Should never be ashamed. <laughs> Neither should Roxanne. How about you? Like, what kind of? Don't say Chris as your favorite bass player, but what kind oh, of? Oh man, you just took my answer. Back. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I feel like we always get asked this, so I prepared, and I've realized the two things that influence my bass playing the most is. He has to go piss. Oh shit! You scared the fuck out of me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and your You're dog started kissing me at the same time too. It's weird. <laughs> Uh, I would say um, Early Outcasts and The Chronic. The Chronic? Oh, shit. The Chronic. They influence your bass playing? Yes, bro. Because all those samples that Dre picked for all that are just fantastic. So I'm sure if you looked in deeper of like each one of the bass players that he sampled from the 70s and 60s, he always picked the yeah. best shit. Yeah, and since it was kind of put there for me already, and I'm I'm a big hip-hop person, like as a bass player, I'm I'm all pocket. Like So I look for that in my drummers. It's and in hip-hop, that's, you know what I'm saying, it's all pocket. Yeah. And all the bass playing that they used in Outkast and The Chronic are probably really what made me. The P-Funk, P-Funk and um, I think James Jameson was, had a lot of influence on the under. Partly a mint. Dark, yeah. Mm-hmm. Boosty Probably, Collins. Bo- Bootsy and, and, and mm-hmm. uh, James, James Jameson. Man, Jenna sorry. Jameson? Jenna Jameson. I was going to say Jenna Jameson, <laughs> and I caught myself. Fuck you, dude. Gil, <laughs> Gil Scott Heron, I consider one of the first rappers ever. Have you ever heard of Gil Scott Heron? No. Oh, man, look him up. He's, a, he's got a great voice. <laughs> he puts eyes on you. <laughs> What's you guys go to? Uh, liquor. Go around the table. Right now, Jameson. Ah, oh, beautiful. Yeah. Try till I'm more due. Oh, I have. Shit. Very good. What's your right now? What's your, what are you drinking right now? Right now, 805. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, <laughs> <laughs> choice of liquor, we're talking. Choice of liquor. Uh, Tillamore Dew or Crown. Yeah. What mm-hmm. about you, Chris? Uh, I don't drink. Oh, nice. Good for you. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't Silver like the fire water. Hashtag Bill W. He's a friend of mine. How about you, dude? Hashtag any tequila, really. <laughs> any tequila <laughs> is my go to. Shit, I can't drink tequila. I can't handle tequila, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I used to be able to drink it, but one time me and my boy, woof, long ass time ago, right? We we're like in high school or some shit, and we we're supposed to link up with some girls. So we went and got a bottle of tequila of Cuervo, and we got a bottle of Jack Wait, Daniels. Gold? Yeah, that was that gold cheap shit. shit. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. That we, good we were in shit. high school, fool. Yeah. It was like, that we good were drinking shit. OEs and shit That's at the time. It was that like good shit. It was like, yeah, see, wait. <laughs> Bad as in good. So anyway. So the girls stood us up, fool, and we're like, fuck, dude. Awesome. We're all bummed out. We're all mad. Fuck those bitches, blah, blah, blah. We're like, you know what? Let's get fucked up. We got the shit, so we started drinking it. And I don't, I don't, know, I don't even drink alcohol like that. So I'm like, this shit smells fucked up. How are you going <laughs> to drink this shit? So I just started pinching my... I dropped my phone. I started pinching my nose and just drinking it like that, fool. <laughs> and, and you don't taste it. You're just like, doop, 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 like water. Like, hey, dog. And I tell my homie, my homie Chavo, I'm like... Dude, tr- try this shit. Just pinch your nose and drink. He's like, hey, you're right, fool. <laughs> we got hey, fucker, twisted. Right. <laughs> we got fucking twisted. And I threw up hard like three times that night. And ever since then, if I smell Cuervo, I'm like, <laughs> like I feel like I'm a chuck, dude. That's how I am with Jack Daniels. Because me and Gil used no, to buy is. a bottle and knock it back just him and I when we, we were 16. Dude. Hey, but you know what? You know what? We used to never invite girls over because we didn't want to get stood up. So we were always happy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say we wanted to keep all the alcohol, dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I get my alcohol on no chicks. Fuck we, <laughs> we had alcohol and weed just for us, too. <laughs> That's where the boners came from. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, like, that's where you got the awkward boner. <laughs> oh, they weren't awkward. Seaweed. <laughs> while, making, you? while making eye Colossi? contact. I've been doing mostly silver tequilas right now. Mm. I, I've, like the Patron and all that? 
Uh, you know what? No, there's this. Uh, uh, what's the name? <laughs> fucking salsa and shit. <laughs> you remember that fat boys? <laughs> what are we talking about? <laughs> Tequila. That bottle. <laughs> you guys left us out of the inside joke. Uh, no. We're right here looking at. Hey, it. I'm just waiting for somebody to go. So this is what happened. Welcome. This is hey, why we're laughing. There's no inside too. joke. We just fucking. That was funny. Uh, I don't even know. It does happen a lot, though. Uh, he's the fat boy shit. He's a fucking asshole. That's what it is. <laughs> I started making fun of him because he what? did something and then he, he was going to try to correct himself and he went, <laughs> so it made it even funnier. <laughs> I thought it was a fucking gorilla. Oh, dude. shit. I thought he was beatboxing. And, and then after that, he, his, his voice went high pitch, so it was even funnier. No, it didn't. Hey, when you guys play, do you guys play it's fucked like, up? or No, bro, that's a great... He'll answer qu- that. No, you started us off. We used to. All and right. then... There has to be a story with that. There we go. There's just too many that we don't remember. We, uh, we were known for being fucked up when we played. Like, was, uh, I, I would tell you the suck. story, but I don't remember <laughs> shit. <laughs> fucked up, dude. Dude, we were, we were That's like the story. We, we started playing when we were 18 years old. And, you know, we've been drinking since we were 16. And, like, we always thought it was whatever, you playing know. Playing, like, out, right? Cause we yeah, play now. Yeah. We've been playing, like, shows since we were 18. And, mm-hmm. like, we go, we get up in these, like, you know, bars that I'm not going to mention so people don't get in trouble. That <laughs> they would sell us beer and shit. Or uh-huh. they would give us beer. And, like, we, we ended up playing at the spot that it was, like, a BYOB type of place. Yeah. And the owner would like give us beers and stuff, and we've had to shotgun with him. And we'd <laughs> get all fucked up, and we'd go play our set and like basically make them walkery of ourselves. But yeah. it was fun because we were having a good time, and everybody was so fucked up too. They, that they pick up on it. It was it was the vibe. Yeah. And you see videos, and you're like, what the fuck? Then we'd be we out there slurring the our words, you know, just talking shit about like everything. Jumping around Yes, yeah, dang. And we looked, we started getting better. All? And no, at the time, you guys, we sound bad. Yeah, we like, fuck. We got all well, no, up. we were never, no one ever took pictures or videos of us. It's still a problem to this day. <laughs> because I would like to think that we're so tight live that mm-hmm. you don't think to take pictures. Now that Instagram's out, people will always take like stories things. Yeah. But for no 10 keepers. years, bro, no one ever took fucking pictures or no videos. Shit, dude. So no. we would just go off everyone saying, like, that was the shit. All right. You know, that happens yeah. to me because I take a lot of pictures of the concerts and shows. And fucking sometimes like the music would be so good, I actually forget yeah. why I'm there, dude. That's, it, that's, that's what I'm gonna true. go with. That's why true because you zone into it, huh? I do, dude. That, like, that I like enjoying shit. I'm really fucking try to remember it, even though I have a bad memory. The fucking I, 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 I'm like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to take fucking picture. That happened this weekend with these guys, man. <laughs> I really got into their shit, and then fucking I'm like, oh yeah, I'm here to take fucking shit. pictures. Missed the best moments. Sorry pictures. about that. It's my fault. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so we uh we started this rule. It's a very, very light rule. It, mm-hmm. Sometimes it gets used. Sometimes we don't use it. But we try to keep it at two drink minimum before we start playing. Shit, that I, makes sense. I, we've been using That's not it nonstop. Yeah. yeah. See, for your photographer thing. Yeah, no. So it's not like you don't drink at all. all. Just I, drink, I use drink. it lightly. Sometimes I just, I keep it to two drinks. Sometimes I, <laughs> I can do three, you know. But Well, I mean, how do you want to feel, though? Like, you want to go through a little buzz? Oh, yeah. Just we, tried, we tried doing a sober <laughs> show uh, maybe like five, six months ago. Yeah. Everyone said people who have seen us a lot. They were like, "Dude, that was perfect. It was really good. Yeah, it was the best you've ever done. We should <laughs> play sober more often." But for me, like it was, it was just missing that little mm-hmm. the edge, that little yeah. edge. Of yeah. So you feel like you need that little edge to fucking no, but it definitely. It's well, clearly they you. said that we performed better sober, but being up there, like in my own head, I I, I had a much better time when I'd been drinking a little bit, yeah. and that's when the two beer roll started. Because if you're at least a beer and then you have your second one on stage, yeah. you're not drunk or nothing. But yeah. as you're up there and you, you start up. drinking that second one. It just loosens you up a little bit. Yeah, I feel you on that. Yeah. Because it loosens you up and you're not like, oh. Because if, if you just go and smoke a blunt. Shit, you know what I'm saying? If you just yeah. go and smoke a blunt before the show, like you're just going to get like really lazy. Yeah. You know? like, That's true. Like, I love, I'm, like, I'm cool with that. As a like, spectator, I like seeing when a... When a Bands out there with their fucking beer, just having because yeah. you know you're gonna have a good. And that's the time. nice. That's the best compliment you can give someone. Yeah. On, on, on stage, if you buy us a beer, mm-hmm. shit. Yep. One time, someone bought us twelve beers, and they were all opened in front of us. <laughs> and a homie of ours was so drunk, he came over to hug us. Yeah. While we were playing, and he knocked them all uh, over, bro. Oh hell. Yeah, no. and then the owner grabbed that fool with the back of the neck and <laughs> got his ass out. <laughs> yeah. That's a mean party. Bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, we dude. had to leave. He knocked. Uh, yeah, we had to leave. Well, like during no the shit set. after like, that. Yeah, because I, I saw it happening, thing. so like the song was going on. I just literally took off my bass, dropped it, and just ran. Like, just you know what I noticed, too? Man. A lot of bands get more more shows at bars when you make people want to drink. 
Just like a DJ gets people to fucking drink. You do that, uh, you yeah, start yeah, it's very true. fucking well, yeah, it cheers to the bartenders, whatever. It, it works out and you get more everybody invites. Wins. I've said it before on the podcast. I mean, like when you're up there at a bar, you're not a band. You're a beer salesman. Yeah. Mm. And you, the more they like your music, the more they're inclined to drink. The more, Which is drink. why they let us book oh, there because nice. she's like, dude, the bar always does good when yeah. you guys play. Mm-hmm. Huh. Always yeah. ask for 18% of the bar. <laughs> that's good business rule. Yeah, right that's there. pretty high, actually. I would have asked for ten. Thank you. <laughs> wow, fucking eighteen. Eighteen's a All standard. Right. Yeah, eighteen's a going rate. But fucking for your photographers, that's an odd number. Just eighteen. <laughs> yeah, well, that's well, not 10, 20. twenty. Yeah, it's no, not twenty percent. Yeah, eighteen percent of the bar. That's what it is. Andale. If you're at a headliner, usually eighteen. Nah, you get more than that. Eighteen's uh, eighteen standard. It depends where you're at, dude. There's uh, certain bars that will. Some some bars won't. Some some already have like a set rate what they're gonna give you, but no, we'll give you that's shit. a whole other podcast, man. No. But uh, for photographers, um, what happens to me a lot? I get invited to these shows by bands, like, hey, come fucking check us out. We'll copy the fucking entrance fee and take pictures. So you start making friends with uh, photographers around the area. More will show up. More videographers. That's what Alien Night did with us. Yeah, and that works out that way. You get photographers and people out there, and it's free. Nice, especially like beginners. That's what I did for all three times that our photographers came to see us. I bought them a beer, got them in for free. That's all it takes, man. Yeah, and man. they still didn't take fucking pictures. Of you <laughs> yeah, now they got too drunk. <laughs> <laughs> they really didn't. They really didn't take that. Or they'll pictures. take the pictures and then we'll just never get them. And I'm like, what happened? They're like, damn, they got deleted, bro. I don't even have them anymore. <laughs> I've only fucked up one show where the lighting was just horrible. Oh, man, and, that's the worst. And you can't take flash photography there. So it's, so like, it's just fucking, you're like, shadows. dude, I couldn't do nothing. I, I got shadows, dude. You had to go like, yo. <laughs> I took a lot of pictures. They're all <laughs> you guys are all too much dark. dark. Yes, <laughs> see him. Just take a picture of a floor like. You guys look good, dog. It was just too dark in here. I took some. One of the last ones I did was your guys' show. Oh, you're in Hawthorne or Bell? No, Redondo Beach. What's that? All the um, those are rocks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> rock. yeah, because when I took pictures there before, the lighting was fucking tight, dude. And this time it wasn't like the lighting was not in the front; it was towards the back on the DJ booth. Mm. So when the when the performers were in Look front of that Jesus. DJ booth, I could not get lighting, dude. Mm. And all the shots that I did, I thought I had, were not there. Yeah. So it still looked dope, though. You you still got some dope shots. Yeah. Well, is that Luckily. the show you went to, Mina? This past weekend? No, uh, we were... Um, My bad, I was young. I was working. That was a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was like last month. <laughs> yes, it wasn't me. <laughs> no, yeah, we, we didn't make it. We were working. I yes, thought, I, I thought that's just how he no. asked questions. Or did questions we play a show? show? Is it working? I, I can tell he's asking a question. No, no, no we played a young. show. I thought <laughs> Jerry not. Seinfeld was on the mic for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that they don't pay the photographers any money? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> it did sound that's like that, like Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> No, what were you saying, Cabrón? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> you were saying it. I was asking. Well, you were yawning. <laughs> I was waiting for the joke. Hey, I got a boner when you yawn. Because <laughs> he went, he went to a show this weekend when I came back from a, from out of town. Oh, so I think since he, you said you were there this past weekend, I thought so that was your show. You didn't go to my show. No, we, uh, remember we were at work together, and you're like, no, we started this time. Oh yeah, but yeah, we yeah, played yeah. at a but you had another show. Uh, we, had a, we had another show. Oh, yeah. at Row. Oh, that yeah, was the daytime week. show, right? Was, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, it was uh, our last one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Last, last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Mm. I'm like lost. <laughs> Just well, multiply by six. It was, the, well, it was a good place to end. I'm still thinking about Jerry Seinfeld right there. It like, was the <laughs> Sunday before Thanksgiving. Why is it the Sunday's <laughs> always before Thanksgiving? <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's a good point to end it with that stupid fucking Seinfeld joke thing. <laughs> boom, ba doom, boom, boom. All right, so. Produced by Larry David. Was Dan. that the baseline? Produced by Larry David. <laughs> <laughs> so, where can people find you again? Uh, we got lucky to have a good name, so just look up no application fee and you'll see three. You guys have a website? That is a dope uh, name. I no, really like that. No, no right now. The, you, you wouldn't can find believe, us on Instagram. You wouldn't believe what the, how much it is to get that medium. Oh, I Or was it called the. Like the www. What's yeah. it called? The, the, the address, the domain, the yeah. domain. Bro, no application fee is going for a lot of money because really, right? It, it was hard to get us on the. Remember, we looked the other day. Some dude was. I was like, look us up. We're on page one of Google. It's like college application. Three, uh, you know, like <laughs> no application fee comes with a lot of business. Shout out stuff. to yeah. Quicken Loans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're, they're, they're LinkedIn and you know. shit. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah. But yeah, you can find us on Instagram, on Apple Music, on YouTube. On the fucking title, no yeah. application fee. We'll always look up. up no application fee. We'll Check out our music time. videos on YouTube, which is, you know, bro. Uh, 
I didn't realize people used YouTube like that mm-hmm. until no last year. No application yeah. fee. Because it was actually... Wait a minute, what, yeah. what do you use YouTube for then? I Porn. don't really watch videos like that, bro. Like, I don't no even really watch music videos fee. like that. No shit. I don't like knowing what a band looks like. Subliminal music. You're right, I, like, I don't I like really watch YouTube because no it comes music with, either. Because then I, I think of the music video and I'm listening to the song. I want to I want to hear it. Yeah, yeah I want to hear it. I want to learn true. how to you know unclog a fucking kitchen sink and watch music videos Maybe it's because I'm from a time where televisions didn't exist. But yeah, I just want to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're also going to put all the links on our description for yeah, this we'll, podcast. Yeah, I'll send them with our dick pics later to, awesome, your, to your email. Sizes too. That dude. sounds great. Uh, nine inches for me, please. A- actual ruler <laughs> next to it. <laughs> I, I like you know what the ruler. You got to start like inside of you. Like, you got to push. <laughs> yeah, push, push it in. It gives you an extra inch, yeah, dude. No, no, because your dick goes inside of you. You're like a dog. <laughs> You're like no, no, no. It's bigger. Trust me. You got to look in. Just look inside. My mom, <laughs> since I was a kid, always told me the joke that you want to know why Mexican women can't measure because all their husbands say that this is six inches. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys listening can't tell, but I put my fingers really small. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the podcast. <laughs>